Good morning, Monas. My name is Veronica Nikoi Sifuna. Thank you for being with us during this difficult time. May you all be blessed. Thank you. Wana Sifiwe. Wana Sifiwe. Kwa majina na itua Proskovia Nekesa Sifuna. I'm the firstborn in our family. I'd like to take this time just to thank you for, for taking your time to be with us today so that we can, our father can have a better send-off today. Uh, I just have one, uh, one request and this may be, it is a, more or less of a, uh, a request to the political family. I, when, before my dad died, he was heading a land commission, he was heading the land commission in Bungoma County. I just want that the, the work he did, I request the current government to take up the steps that my dad did, his work, and ensure that whatever he did, let it not just go to waste. 
so that wherever he is, he will be happy seeing all those people who are involved there. They have, get, they have gotten their dues because they took all their time to ensure that they could do a very good job. But I knew my dad was following up that issue, but it was never done the way he was. He wanted it to be. Thank you. Good morning, all. My name is Maruti June. I'm the last born daughter of uh, Lawrence Ifuna. Thank you all for coming here to mourn with us, and God bless you. Morning, mourners. My name is Maria Simiu Sifuna. Karibuni sana. Good morning, mourners. My name is Monica Nekoye Sifuna. I'm just an appreciation for you turning up to celebrate my dad's life up to this moment. Thank you. God is good. God is good. I'm called uh, Brian Sifuna. I uh, just have something little to say about that. I remember when I received a phone call from my friends who work at Elgonjo. So I had to make quick arrangements to come see uh, how it was faring on. So when I arrived in uh, Bungoma on the 29th of last month, we had a good chat uh, with my uncle Adrian. Um, so he wanted to go to the washroom. I took him there. So he was lively as he always is. Um, after some time, my brother came in, Anazet. So dad told us, and then you, you go guys have some meals. You can buy your, your uncle some beers because he was supposed to sleep with him that day. So uh, we went to do some shopping. And then after like one hour or so, I received a call from the doctors telling me that Dad Amelemewa, I should rush back to the hospital. We left with Anazet um, back to Elgon View Hospital. We found him Alkomepata, the second stroke, the second attack for stroke. So that is when we decided, uh, me and him and my uncle, that we should transfer him to Eldoret for better treatment. So um, we made arrangements, we called uh, uh, the county government, the ambulance, but unfortunately they came like two hours later with some patients inside. So I asked them, boss, awa ni nani, tunenda na wabi, wakanyambia, wacha tunarudi. So we waited for over three hours only for us to realize these guys had already gone to Eldoret, whereas to go to Naongojea. And it was like four in the morning, three in the morning. So to Kajuliza, Sasa Kama Sisi, Kama Uyu Alipo Mishimi Wawao, they can do such a thing. Atu Dandanye, Atu Tunarudi. What about our Watu Wengine? What are they going through? So me and Anna said we had to walk all the way up to Hopkins Hospital, Kutafuta Ambulance, Yakum Zindikisha, Baba Hadi Eldoret. We decided. And as at Abaki, I went with my, with my son, Eugene, up to Eldoret. Reaching Eldoret, all was well. He was admitted until that Saturday when I took him to, for MRI. I took him to hospital, then I took him back to the hospital. So to look up for ambulance, Numa, we had our own way of communicating. He wasn't talking, but I could hold his hand he could press my hand, so I knew he was there. Then I told my uncle Elliot, hey, Baba, he's alive, because I'm seeing he's pressing my hand, and his legs were shaking. That was around 6 p.m. on, uh, on Saturday. Uh, then Uncle Elliot said, ah, you know when you're with Mze, and we're around, he won't eat, because he used to like kutuongelesha sana. It reached around 9 p.m., we were called again, uh, by Medihill Hospital, that Mze Ame Lemewa, so Twende Tuangali, what is happening? So I asked the doctor, Nini, Tunakuta Kufanya Nini na wewe ndio Daktari? Why don't you just, I can you just come, I can feel his heartbeat iko chini sana. So me and my sister Monica, we took an Uber, uh, Kwenda Kumwana Mze. Kufika Katikati, not even Katikati, three quarters of the way, Gari Kaisha Mafuta. 
and it is very late, it was around 10, no, 9, 9. Gari kusha mafuta, tukamua kutafuta piki piki. The second piki piki, ikaisha mafuta pia. So, tukainamisha, watu wa boda boda kwa rejo vilu wanainamishanga, mafuta ikiisha. So, we went two kilometers to the hospital, boda boda katuangusha, because we were three people on that boda boda, we couldn't get taxis. Me, Eliud, and Monica here. So, vilu wanianguka, wakasema hawapandi tena. Mi nikasema, no, mimi nitapanda, ni mbaki nyuma. So, wakabaki wakitembea, nikapanda yu piki piki, hadi uh, Medi Hill Hospital. Kufika huko, ndio daktari ya kanembia, mzee ndio huyu hapa. So, I could see him, he was on oxygen, and he was breathing. So, I asked him, sinaona anapumua, siku jua kumbe, he was just being supported by that uh, machine. Nilikuwa naona bado na breathe. That is when uh, uh, daktari ya kanembia, ame pass. That's all I have to say. Thank you so much. Karibuni. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa majina naitwa Alex Yusufuna. Asante. Thank you very much for your support and prayers once again. And uh, I would actually request that uh, all the children and the grandchildren and the brothers of the late and the entire family to try and live according to, the, to his values. I think all of us know his values, generosity, humility. He was a very kind person towards everyone. Um, so that's all that we have to say for today. Thank you. Just one last thing, and this goes to the governor of Bungoma. Mzekila Siku, when I used to come see him, alikuwa na nimbi barabara inaitua Lawrence Ifuna Road. This road from Masiritamu up to his home. So I just request the governor, if at all uh, the country has mourned him, he was one of the members of the Seven Bearded Sisters, um, I would like the governor, if at all he could uh, um, thank him or thank his services for the country to name this road as Lawrence Ifuna Road, we would really be glad. Thank you so much. Daima na milele, uh, I would wish to take this opportunity to thank each one of you for sparing this time to mourn with us. It has been a difficult moment, but we thank God for everything that has happened. I just want to say something small about my life with Lawrence Sifuna, the fallen hero in that coffin. I got married to him in 1986 and uh, we were blessed with uh, four children, three girls and one boy. We also got three grandsons. One of them, the eldest, was named after his eldest brother. The second one was named after him. Now, what do I say about my late husband? He was a great man, he was a pillar, he was a man of the people, he would deny himself to give to the community. All that I would wish to say is that may his soul rest in peace, kindly continue praying for us as a family, for unity, to prosper amongst us. It's difficult for us. It's been a difficult moment for us. Your prayers will be highly appreciated. Till we meet my dear husband. Thank you.
mtakatifu Yesu Kristo Daima na milele God is good and all the time I wish to take this opportunity to thank God for this day It is a special day because when many people are gathered under the sun and wish to bid their friend farewell, it's a good sign that this friend had a lot of blessings from God. Lawrence and I, together as a couple, we were blessed with the three children, very adorable children, Anas uh, Mukite, Anazet, and Kezia. Together we raised these children, and they have never disappointed us because of the stamina of the father. They have been good children. We are here mourning this hero who has made a difference in our lives. And every day we thank God for that because he's a special man. May the good that he has done and touched our lives remain with us. May the challenges that he has had be interred in his bones. May his soul rest in peace. Kwa machina, na hitu wa mefasifuna, pipi mkubwa wa dalet Lorenzifuna, niliyoleka nae mwaka wa 1971. And before I continue, Mulam Alfred, come here. Who you? Dear Alinifanya Nika Ingia kwa yo familia. Ya, Sifuna. Asandi kwa kuni ingisa kwa familia. Ambaye kwa so life. Kwa kofi tafadali. Asandi. Asante. Asante. Asa said, Huyo ni shemeji ambaye alinifanya nikaingia kwa hiyo familia. May I tell you one thing? Hiyo familia ya Sifuna, it's a loving and caring family. For the time I've stayed with my husband since 1971 Sicha wai furukana na mzee wangu they are witnesses Acha wai kunikosea kwa ile namna vile wengine huwa tunakosewa labda wenzangu at large Ati niende kwetu nikae labda nini fanyike ndio ni routine nimepepana na vitu kama wabukusu wanafanya he has been loving all through i have lost huyu msee wangu amekuwa very honest very generous visitors in my house you could not differentiate wale wanatoka upande wake na wale wanatoka upande wangu ameelemisha family members and nani family members in fact not relatives nampenda i've lost i miss him i miss him so much wale wameacha kazi zenu mmekucha kwa kuombolesa nasi pamoja umeacha nafasi zenu mbali mbali na mshukuru kwa hali ya juu asante Asante mami, wacha tumpigie makofi atapoenda kuketi chini. 
Kwa hii nafasi mabibi na mabwana ni ruhusu tumalize kitengo cha familia nitamuita patron wa uko akapate ku sum up then twende kwa kitengo kingine ambacho ni cha utawala so tafadhali tumpige patron wa uko makofi anapokuja kunena jambo ni kwa ajili ya uko Uh, kanisa takatifu wageni wa heshima ambao mko hapa majirani manduku wa ombolezaji hamjambo uh, kwa ufupi sana wacha nichukue nafasi hii ya kipekee kushukuru kila mmoja wenu kukuja kuotuomboleza nashukuru wakeni waheshimiwa ambao wako hapa nimesema karibu sana na asanteni kwa kuja kutuomboleza Jamii ya Bamutilu I take a special moment to really thank you and appreciate you. Mumeonyesha a lot of solidarity for the family since the demise of our brother. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is called Ivan Skakai Masinde. I'm here specifically to welcome Bamutilu kwa Uganda. Najua mmekuja mko hapa, mmekaa pale nyuma. Bamutilu from Busia muko hapa tunataka kuwashukuru wote. Bamutilu from Kakamega muko hapa we want to really thank you. Bamutilu from Transoya tunataka kuwashukuru. Waombolezaji ningependa kusema hivi mwaka wa 1998 made a very very uh, important decision. This is the year the late Honorable Lawrence Sifuna was appointed to in the same year our late Mzee Peter Saisi was appointed as the deputy to patron the same same day my father George Masinde Murunga was appointed as the second chairman of Bamutilu clan it's unfortunate that all the lead in eternal peace. Lawrence, you have not left us as orphans. Umewacha jamii kama umetupanga. When we go to America, we are well represented. When we go to Transoya, we are well represented. Bungoma, we are well represented. The young man has requested, Governor of Bungoma, in honor of the lead, we pray that you give us something that we can call after our late brother we want to appreciate busia busia we have a school called bamutilu but we are also requesting the governor of busia in honor and favor because we have a good representation there utusaidie kitu ambaye itafanya tumkumbuke mwenda zake laurens mheshimiwa natembea up there appear we request that you give us something Gentlemen, you had a vision. You had told us and you had given us direction as to what we are supposed to do as Bamutilu. I want to request all of you. This man had a network that we cannot have. He was putting on a shoe that we cannot fit. But we request that anyone who has a network, come, let's be together and let's live his legacy alive. May God bless you abundantly. Asante sana patron. Uh, mabibi na mabwana mtaniruhusu nivunje itifaki anga kwa kiduchu tu. Mama Mefa alisahau jambo so tafadhali mama Mefa kindly. Kindly karibu. Tafadhali huyo ndo mama mkubwa wa mwenda zake ambaye pia ni mama yetu tunamuenzi na vile vile tunampenda. Tafadhali. No manyoli wa mwali kwa jinyo Mwiche kwa nini? Mwali kwa base bose. Ongoswe na maikresi makoha sifuna. Asante. Ah uh, wali kwa wakati mnapokuja na tumai kuwa mko wengi kwa idadi. So kwa ajili ya muda tu nitaomba mtapunga mkono tu huenda mnenaje awe mmoja tu tafadhali ama mnaweza punga mkono popote mlipo pasipo na kupoteza muda wa kuja tafadhali
Asante. Waliosalia mnaweza punga tu mkono. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Ningependa wamwali wa wa Lorenzi wote. Wasimame wapunga. Tuomba kusimama ni kwa ajili ya muda tusimame tu. Hivyo. Haya wamepunga mami. Mnaweza kiti. Eh. Yaani nilikuwa nashangaa. Kwa sifuna tuko na ndugu zake bali basi. Mane paho vasumba na mwe bali ne bahasi. Aya naendelea Huyo kijana amelala hapo alikuwa kijana wa chapu ndiye alifanya hao wa vijana walikuanga na kichwa ngumu kusema wanataka waoe leo tena wanaoa kesho Si alitusaidia Hawa mama si alimsaidia Ah sifuna alifanya sisi tukaishi kwa boma lao. Alipenda mashemeji zao, alikuwa anawatetea. Hata mimi hivi alinifanya nikatoka Kakamega. Na alipeleka huko e unaona mwe e kiri. Alipeleka huko ngombe ya ndume. Ya ndume kubwa. Asante. Na akanifanya nikaishi. Siaende kwa amani. Asante Mariki. Tuishi kwa amani. Asante. Mbarikiwe. Thank you. Thank you. Tudishe kipaza sauti. Aya kwa nafasi hii mabibi na mabwana ni ruhusu nikaruke kwa kitengo kingine ambacho ni cha utawala na nitaomba kwa haraka kama kuna area chief tunakutambua. Kama haupo mtamwalika msimamizi wa ratiba mwenzangu akapate kutuelekeza kwa kitengo kifatacho. Tafadhali. Area chief karibu tu watambue wenzako tafadhali Watambue tu usiku nena tafadhali unaweza nena tu kama host Jamii all dignitaries na ombolezaji wote hamjambo Nachukua fursa hii kuambia karibuni hapa siritanyi Msukoma location Msukoma ward Kandui Division, Bungoma South, Bungoma County, a beautiful country, Kenya. I take this opportunity to welcome all the chiefs and assistant chiefs within the hall. Wakuje? Eh, karibuni wote, alafu mweze kusema majina enu. Makoha Lucy, senior chief na para location, nafikiri yangu niliongea jana. I'm what I am because of that hero. Asante mimi naitwa Robin Barasa Chief East Bukusu Location. Mahali mheshimiwa Sifuna nasaliwa. To the family please kindly take heart. Pauline sana. God is good all the time. I'm Ranga Scholastica, senior assistant chief from Mwanda Sub Location, Sub Bukusu Location. Mula Division, Mula Sub County. Take heart, the family of our late Madam Nefa. Asante. All mourners. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Emily Ward. I'm here. I'm here as a friend of the family of Mr. Laura Buna, all the way from Oma Bay County. Oyugi's town location. Oyugi's town is sub location. Thank you. Sante. Mjambo nyote. Atu jambo. Mimi naitua Willy Barasa Sitati. Ni former chief ya Kibabi. Umu mainaka konire wa stini. Esumu maina wa 68. Sante. Thank you. Ese kupira pole. Marehe muka kore kasi lindai. Ndekese wa safi yongo sibe bungoma. Mukaleka li rumbiliye fuli ya anzo yali ya kuata. Kakikisha mwishimwane muliano. 
Mwaka kishembo liru mbili yao soya liveo. Esa principal chief rutaya Wilson Kayamba. Thank you so much. Mbalezaji wote. I'm the host assistant chief Robert Wefofwa. Nafikiria familia tumekuwa pamoja nao. Take heart. Tutamaliza. Thank you so much. Sante. I want to say this on behalf of the family. Thank you all the cheerful contributors who have made this day to be the way it is. We are happy and we also appreciate everybody who has taken his time to come and mourn with us. Thank you. My name is Awasike Alice, Chief Mskoma Location. Asante, we recognize the arrival and presence of Mze Patrick Wangamati, ambaya alifanya karibu sana na muenda zake. So straight to sub-county admin, karibu. Thank you. Uh, my name is Festus Juma, sub-county administrator, Kandui sub-county, na niko na wenzangu, watasema tu jina, because of the interest of time. Please, your name. Thank you. I'm Rose Mtoro, Wafula, Ward Administrator, Township. Hebron Obed Wekesa, Administrator Isangalo. Peter Simiu, Village Administrator, Samoa Village Unit. Thank you. Thank you. Abel Mutoro, Village Administrator, Namamka Village Unit. Thank you. Thank you. Sylvia Kwatindi Wanyonyi, Mskoma Village Administrator. Thank you. Thank you, Ruth Wekesa, Village Administrator, Namasanda Village Unit. Thank you. Thank you. Na natumai kuna wenzetu wenye wanafanya kanu gamino bungoma who are below directors. Pengine penye uko, beba tu mkono? Penye uko? Ya, yeah. simama upunga mkono? Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, just one. Omu Amilo Rensifuna made me what I am. Um, a sub-county administrator can do a sub-county courtesy of my Honorable Lawrence Ifuna. A somo mutiru, ba mutiru mwativisye, karaba mai, para, karaba mai, ba papa, mwe khali rekhaneba yaya, poleni. Thank you so much. Back to MC. Asante, uh, kwa inafasi, ni muite mwelekezi mwenzangu warati bakaribu sana. Asante ndugu, Nitangaze kama ifatavyo, tunaenda kwa kitengo kingine. Tukumbuke kwamba tuko kwenye hafla iliyo na majonzi nyingi. Kwa hivyo, tumekuja hususan kuomboleza. Watakao ufata kuzungumza. Ni kuombe, una uhuru wa kusema, unayo ya hisi kusema. Walakin, uyaseme. Kwa mipaka, mapana, na marefu ya heshima. Kwa kimombo, we are free to say what we desire. However, we must remember to be respectful. Ninaomba mjumbe katika bunge la gatuzi la bungoma, mwakilishi wa wadi, ya muskoma George Makari uje na uwalike wenzako nao wapate kutoa rambi rambi zao karibu mheshimiwa uh, oh, uh, thank you the mc wakeni okay, wa heshima wote your excellencies you can see my former governor wangamati I can say honorable Mnyinyi for the first time wachakoya mekuja kwetu hapa kavana oparanya na pina puera nimeona ulako aluch bunge wa alipita sana kwa tikiti ya Fort Kenya huko Kisumu when it was very impossible lakini alikuwa anapita I want to and all the other guests wageni wa heshima wote wako hapa uh, mheshimiwa seneta wetu Sifuna from Nairobi mjumbe wetu wa Kandui mheshimiwa Makali is also with, the, with us here uh, mheshimiwa Wetangula is in Australia lakini tulikuwa na yeye kwa jamii tukifanya mchango akatutolea mchango wetu and is with us in spirit he asked the family 
Kwamba, he will not be around, but he is represented very well today. Mwishimiwa uh, Gavana is on the way coming. Amehudhuria Arusi Mahali, but he's just coming. In a few minutes, atakuwa pamoja na sisi. And some other members of the Counter Assembly. I think wenye wako hapa, nimeona Mwishimiwa Cornelius, Mwishimiwa Makabichi, Mwishimiwa Alan. Nataka tuni wakaribishe, just a name so that we save on time. I don't know if the MC ameni rusi. Nataka pia kabla wakuje, kuje ni tumbele. I want to recognize Mwishimiwa Majimbo Okumu na Mwishimiwa Balala. Yu Mwishimiwa, wame kuja tu, umefanya kazi mzuri sana. Kuja tu, I know you have your space to talk. But Mwishimiwa Balala accepted to be the chairman of the committee ya Haya Matanga. Simunaona wamefanya kazi mzuri. You have done a very splendid job. Mwishimiwa yetu ya Bungoma na ako hapa na hanghang lakini tuko pamoja na yeye. Mwishimiwa Sande, uta unanafasi yako. Nataka ni karibishe Mwishimiwa Cornelius, Mwishimiwa Wakalaba Ward, ambaye pia ni jirani yetu hapa. Mwishimiwa, just introduce yourself. Asante sana. Kanisa yetu ya leo, waishimiwa wote na wambolezaji wote. Kwa majina naito Cornelius Mahanu, MCA Halaba Ward. Naungana na nyinyi wote kupigia pole familia ilio mpoteza shujaa wetu. Na tunasema tu mungu wa irehemu roo yake. Pole kwa familia, pole kwa county ya Bungoma. Asante sana. Asante wa mbalezaji wote kwa jumla. Mimi ni mwishimiwa Timpawa Chikati. MCA wa Ndalo Tabani Ward. Tumekuja kusimama na nyinyi. Poleni. Asante sana. Asante. Kanisa, viongozi na marafiki wa mwenda zake. Nasema pole sana. Naema ya mungu itoshe. Na hitu wa Alan Nyongesa. Mwakilishi wa vijana. Asante. Ewa umbolezaji wote, itifaki zote zikizingatiwa. Kwanza napenda kushukuru marafiki wale walitembea na mweshimiwa Lawrence. Hasa tukienda Nairobi kama mweshimiwa Munoko inuwa tumkono. Asante kwa kudhuria. Tumepoteza. Nilingia kwa siyasa kwa sababu ya ukakamavu wa Lawrence Sifuna. Mungu amrehemu. Amen. Familia ya maremu, sifuna, wa mama wajane na watoto wao, na weshimua wote yunye wako wapa leo, siku ya leo. Kwa majina yangu na ito wa mweshimua Margaret Sapina Wanjala, ikiwa nominate tiwa chama cha Forti Kenya Mokula wa Tatu Transire County Assembly. Mimi kwa Forti Kenya ni Vice Chair wa National. Kenya Kwanza, mimi ni Coordinator wa Rift Valley. Na nataka kusema na simama hapa ni kisema wa mama wachane, karibuni kwa uchane, kwa sababu mimi niko 30 years nikiwa mchane. Nasema karibuni, muko na mungu. Asandi mbarikiwe. Thank you, mami. Kanisa, familia mremu, mze mwishimua Loren Sifuna, itifaki zote zikizingatiwa, huombolezaji wote amjambo, amjambo tena, Majina yangu naituwa Karola Inangote, mimi ni nominated MCA kwa ticket ya ODM kutoka Viga County. Na naleta pole zangu, pamonya na pole za wenzangu kutoka kule kwa assembly, tukileta kwa hii jami. Jambo kuu, tumuombe mungu, atupenguvu na faraja wakati huu mgumu. Asanteni. Karibu mwishimiwa. Familia, kanisa katoliki, all protocol of sub. My deputy party leader na wabunge. Kwa majina mimi naitua Bernard Bokanda Mlama. Mimi ni mwishimiwa wa Lumakanda Ward kule Lugari Subcounty. Nimetembea na mbunge wangu, mwishimiwa na Bina Buera. Na pia nimekuja kwa niaba ya mwishimiwa wa Kakamega County. Kusema pole kwa baba kutuwacha. Na pia kwa Secretary General Sifuna tunamuambia pole akiwa ni Secretary General wa general kwa pati enye mimi nilichaguliwa nilichaguliwa kwa chama cha ODM na kakamega mimi ndio chief whip majority asanteni asante mwishmiwa any other member of counter assembly if you are here even from wherever not only in western Kenya kama uko or kama kuna pia former MCAs if you are there kindly just wave wherever you are 
Asante. Karibu sana waheshimiwa. Mheshimiwa Edward yako hapo. Mheshimiwa Makuda is there. Asante. Mheshimiwa na Masaka is there. Asante. I'm also being asked to recognize all national government officials that are here. Maybe you are SCS, maybe you are I'm a, yeah, SCC. SCC we to come ako, please. So, waje nipatie huyu as you prepare to come. Mheshimiwa karibu. Thank you. Eh, uh, waombolesaji, familia, hamjambo. Nimekuja hapa kwa majina naitwa Mheshimiwa David Odhiambo Magoba MC Yellow Savannah Ward Embakas East Constituency Nimefuata ndugu yangu Bwana Sefuna ambaye pia ni mkubwa wangu kukuja kuomboleza pamoja na nyinyi na kuleta tu rambi rambi sa watu wa Nairobi poleni kwa familia poleni sana poleni sana Mungu anajua na Mungu ataelekeza hiyo ambayo imebaki asanteni sana thank you mheshimiwa ukirudi Nairobi unawasalamia mwambie watia bungoma mwasalami welcome sir ah hamjambo wote ah mimi ma, kwa majina naitwa Ferdinand Nyongesa I'm a state officer I recently joined uh, the universal uh, service advisor council in the Ministry of ICT and Digital Economy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, maybe without wasting a lot of time, SCC, DCC, Yota Mbayako represented here, please, wherever you are. Welcome, sir. Karibu Sam. Asante. Kwa majina naitua Eric Wafula Wanyoni. Uh, former DCC natoka sehemu ya Kapchai hata nimejaribu siasa ya ubunge huko Kapchai asanteni sana na pole sana uh, mwenda zake asante thank you DCC nekwe asante sana hamjambo nyote my name is Sophie Nekoe Waliaula i'm the chairperson of National Youth Council pole ni sana asante i think we are done with that session uh, mimi kama mjumbe wa hii eneo nataka nikaribishe kila mtu. Si mnaona kwetu kuna amani. Watu ya mlembe sisi watu ya amani tu. Wachakoya hapa sisi ni watu ya mlembe. Lakini kuna timu yako umuhimu ndani utawaona before you go. Eh uwasot. <laughs> utawasot kidogo alafu ndio uende. Nataka niseme hivi kwa familia pole we have been here severally uh, usiku mchana hata jana tumeshinda hapa na mjumbe wa Kandui mheshimiwa Makali overseeing the exercise kipata mheshimiwa Sifuna ki arrange we just want to say pole to the family we are together and i've seen the family requesting that this road iwe named Lawrence Sifuna mimi kama mheshimiwa hii area mheshimiwa Makali nitaamurisha hiyo barabara ikiisha tuweke mheshimiwa Lawrence Sifuna si ndio na wakikataa mwenyewe nitatengeneza kipao nileta hapa nitatembea na kipao na tunaweka pale na tunaweka huko kuanzia pale eh, sacred huko kwa Lami alafu tuweke ingine huko tunasema Lawrence atakuwa ameamrisha na simu nipigie makofi kidogo <laughs> uh, without much ado wakeni wengine wanakuja nataka ni mlete mjumbe wetu wa Kandui uh, oh, Madam, you have a word. Kindly, please. Thank you so much. A Kanisa, a family to be here. Baba Mewefwe, and the Vamas Kanam Kesian Mlembe. Mlembe Lund. Kalahumaska, listeners of Dr. Ris Panamasaka, the chairperson Kenya Literature Bureau, the Anonat Visia Mlamua. My family ndo mendi kalaru kaliwelo mwena mfariji. Asante. Asante mai. Nasikia naambiwa nilete kamati ya matanga. Kindly please just come. Alafu kuna mfalme wavama sawa kutoka Uganda. Ndiyo ya naingia. Mukaribishe ni tafadhali. Na wako na mwishimiwa wakoli. The newest, the newest graduate yesterday. As a PhD in religion uyu wakoli before. 
Karibu sana mheshimiwa Bokoli Bikoli. King karibu sana in Kenya. Asante. Kanisa andalizi familia ya baba mwenda zake viongozi wetu wa inchi na wanamatanga wote bwana asifiwe asifiwe tena kwa jina ni Rebecca na Fula Masibai nimesimama hapa watilu na bam til must have originated from the same ancestor kwa hivyo nasema pole bam tilu nikiwa omtilu Second nataka niseme ya kwamba I've been championing the rights of the girl child. Na baba tulikutana na yeye in the year 2017 when I was hosting the Girls Advocacy Initiative International Day of the Girl Child. Baba alinipea donation ya t-shirts to campaign against the early pregnancies in Bungoma County. Na alinipea t-shirt kama yenye niko nayo hii nilifaa nilivaa leo ili niendelee kumkumbuka baba you've gone but you've left Asante. a legacy poleni sana na Mungu awabariki Asante Asante mheshimiwa gavana karibu sana na timu yako uh, nilikuwa kwa kitengo ya waheshimiwa wakati the king kutoka Uganda alikuwa anaingia na tena mheshimiwa gavana wetu pia akaingia uh, Nirudi kwa kitengo ya waheshimiwa tafadhali tukipita hapo wananiambia hatutarudi huko hata kama you are still breathing ndio mnakaa chini nataka ni recognize the majority leader wa Bungoma County Assembly mheshimiwa Nyongesa mheshimiwa Tony our whip honorable Sudi uh, nataka mkuje tu tafadhali just come just a name because you have come to mourn with us kujeni tukaribu waheshimiwa because we got na pita hapo and then it went kwa wageni wengine kindly i beg deputy speaker amefika wa kwanza yeye atasimamia hiyo kitengo yote alafu amalizia na majority leader wetu thank you asante sana ndugu mheshimiwa makari e familia ya baba mwenda zake pamoja na viongozi wote ambao wamefika hapa watu wetu wa Bungoma Jina langu ni Steven wa Follow Malwa nikiwa deputy speaker wa bunge la Bungoma na tuna wenzangu hapa watasema majina yao kisha nimalize ni kabidhi majority leader Mheshimiwa gavana viongozi watajika kwa sababu ya wakati naitwa Tony Hawaya Baraza MCA Luandani poleni sana familia familia na wananchi wote wa mjambo mimi nasema pole sana na vile biblia inasema kwa udongo ulitoka na kwa udongo utarudi waacha mheshimiwa wetu mwenye amepotea atembee salama kwa majina anaitwa mheshimiwa sundukwa na akilisha abandu bestio asante gavana wetu familia ya mheshimiwa Lorenz all protocols observed naitwa mheshimiwa Henry Nyongesa na akilisha wodi ya Bumola na mimi nimewahi fanya kazi na mheshimiwa Lorenz Ifuna kama counselor akiwa mjumbe wa Bumola pole sana kwa familia mheshimiwa governor all protocol observed kwa majina naitwa mheshimiwa Christine Muhongo maisi yeye MCA Kimilili Ward pole sana familia kwa kupoteza. Eh <laughs> mheshimiwa uh, governor former governor Kakamega County wa bunge mheshimiwa MCAs my colleagues all protocols observed inaitwa Busolo Sudi MCA Saudi Bukusu wodi yangu haiko mbali na hapa We George is my neighbor. Wote tunashikana tu hapa chini nasema pole kwa familia. Tena sifuna ni mchomba yangu. Kwa familia nasema pole. Mungu awashike mkono. Asante. Asante. Kabla ni mkabidhi kiongozi wetu wa wengi. 
Mimi nawakilisha ward inaitwa Soisambo Mitua kule Tongaren na niko hapa kusema pole kwa jamii lakini roho ya baba sifuna ni roho ya Bungoma is a reflection of the people of Bungoma the unwavering spirit the courageous spirit and i say that live long the spirit of the people of Bungoma because as a sister of bearded sister in the parliament we pride in him as having been a leader who was fearless who was courageous and that the true spirit of the people of Bungoma may his soul rest in peace Aifa. Jamii na ukoo wa Baba Mutiru Mheshimiwa Gavana wa Bunga ambao wako hapa viongozi na wananchi bwana asifiwe uh, pia mimi nasema poleni sana kwa familia sisi kama watu Bungoma hakika tumepoteza na tumechifunza kwake maneno mazuri nasi pia tutaendelea kushikilia hapo hapo ili at least watu wetu wakuwa afadhali nataka nipongeze wote ambao tumeshirikiana na wacha tupeleke hii masishi kwa njia ya heshima ili jamii nayo pia ifurahie. Na mwisho nimeona mheshimiwa Waruke nataka nimshukuru ameshika wabunge wote wa Western shikilia hapo ili tuchitambue na asi pia tupate mwelekeo ili tuongoze nchi hii. Bwana wa amani awapariki sana. Asante majority. Mheshimiwa minority you've come in kama tunaendelea. Asante. Kwa mbalazaji wote kama jina naitwa Mheshimiwa Alusanaka uh, MC wa Pukembe West Ward mimi pia nimekuja kuomboleza na familia ya papa Sifuna kwa sababu alikuwa my role model I think he was the first member of parliament mimi kusalamia kwa mkono nilikuwa primary school so kwa familia na bungoma kwa jumla tumepoteza na nataka kuomba viongozi wote wenye wako hapa tusikuwe tunaungana tu kwa matanga peke yake kwa maana ya maendeleo watu waje tufanyie pamoja ndio hii region yetu pia ende mbele tusingoje matanga kama hii ndio tushikane tufanyie pamoja so nataka kuomba viongozi wenye wako hapa as western leaders waje tushikane tusukume region yetu ende mbele otherwise kwa family nasema pole sana na Mungu mwenyewe atawafariji asante asante huyo ni minority leader wetu katika assembly yetu ya Bungoma yeye ni mtu wa kandui hapa Nimeambiwa niite kiongozi wa Bama Sava. Akuja aseme something as uh, other leaders come in. Your Excellency I recognize you. Nilikuwa nimepeana kwamba you are coming. Umeenda harusi but unakuja. I thank you for coming. Mheshimiwa Waluke, thank you for coming too. Karibu. Uh, kiongozi wa Bama Sava tafadhali. Is coming. Time is coming. Samahani kidogo. Nitaomba ili tuwe na mpangilio mzuri kwanza tuwe na njia nzuri hapa maafisa wa usalama kuna viti vya kutosha watu wote waliosimama hapo waketi ya pili nitaomba kwa sababu mgeni wa heshima anaingia kwaya itupe kibao ili mpatie nafasi ya kutizama mwili na kuketi kisha mheshimiwa utaendelea na kumwalika mjumbe wakandui kuendelea na ratiba na niombe tuwapigie MCS wetu makofi mazuri wamezungumza kwa heshima na wamezungumza vizuri sana na tunashukuru kwa sisi ni watu wa amani kwaya kwaya inapokuja kama umeketi katika hii nafasi na wewe si mheshimiwa huenda we ni mheshimiwa kwako nyumbani nitaomba kwa heshima waheshimiwa bado wamesimama tunyanyuke tu ili tupatie wageni wetu nafasi tafadhali
Ah, kwa ya naomba tukapate kuendelea na kibao kingine tunapongojea kuwasili kwa ya Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga akisha fika hapa nitaomba kwa ya tutendelea na ratiba sasa tafadhali wakati his excellency right honorable raila molo dinga anapofika atakapofika atafika straight atazame mwili biposa aende kuketi tafadhali kwa heshima wacha tukasimame wakati his excellency anaingia akiwa maandamana pamoja na gavana wa siaya gavana orengo james tuko na gavana wa kisumu peter anyang nyongo wakiwa pamoja na viongozi wengine sana your excellency right honorable raila molodinga kwa kufika pamoja na gavana his excellency james orengo ambaye pia ndiye gavana wa siaya aliyefanya kazi kwa ukaribu waliokuwa wanajiita kwa jina la ujasi kuwa the seven bearded sisters kumbukwe mheshimiwa lawrence funa alifanya kazi kwa karibu sana na mwenda zake <tos> <tos> 
wakiwa pamoja na mheshimiwa Kwege wa Mwere Abuya Abuya na wengineo Isisaulike pia tuko na His Excellency Anyang Nyongo ambaye ndiye governor wa Gatuzi la Kisumu Karibu sana Your Excellency sa Wakati His Excellency anapowasabai familia nitaomba mwenye gari UBN 806K ambaye ni Honorable Simiu unaitwa nje ni kwa ajili ya gari hilo tafadhali Asante wacha tukaketi wacha tukaketi tukaendelee na ratiba yetu tafadhali Asante kwaya, asante kwaya, asante kwaya. Wanahabari kwa heshima na taadhima nitaomba kwa nafasi ya kipekee tukapate kujongea kwenye lango kuu. Tukaendelee na ratiba yetu ya siku ya leo. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Daima na milele. Tunatambua uwepo na kufika kwa His Excellency Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga ambaye ndiye uh, party leader wa ODM aliyefanya kwa ukaribu na mwenda zake Lawrence Sifuna. Vile vile His Excellency amaandamana na Governor James Orengo ambaye pia ni mmoja wa the seven bearded sisters wakiwemo na uh, Koigi wa Omwere, Abu ya Buya za Mazile na wengineo. Saulike pia tuko katika mjengo huu na Governor wa Kisumu His Excellency Governor Anyang Nyongo twasema karibu sana. Senator Edi wa Migori pia anaarifiwa umefika. Karibu sana ndugu kwa kuomboleza nasi. Uh, Your Excellency sa kabla mfike tulikuwa tunaendelea na ratiba yetu na area MCA ndiye alikuwa kwenye jukwaa. Tafadhali take over please. Thank you MC. Uh, Your Excellency Raila Amolo Odinga wakeni ambao uko nao Mheshimiwa Nyang Nyongo Mheshimiwa Orengo. Uh, you came in when we were already underway with the speeches. Uh, to na almost coming to the area member of parliament but before i come to the area member of parliament nataka ni muite niite kamati ya matanga led by the chairman mshimiwa uh, balala mshimiwa balala you are welcome asante as chairman anapokuja wanahabari tafadhali nitaomba tukapate kusonga tafadhali wanahabari tukasonge na mwenye gari UBN 806k tafadhali unaombwa kuangalia gari lako tafadhali thank you chairman karibu thank you your excellency right honorable raila amolo odinga familia ya mwenda zake ba mtiru your excellency the governor bungoma your excellency governor kisumu governor siaya our member of parliament mheshimiwa Makali Deputy Bad Leader Mushimo Paranya Serious leaders seated in this congregation On behalf of the committee kindly allow me to usher in the committee members just to pronounce the name Alafu wakae chini umefanya kazi kubwa sana Kindly members of the committee Jina na unakaa chini sababu hawa ndio wamesaidia imatanga kifanana hivi 
my names are Christopher Sifuna. I'm the treasurer of this funeral committee. Asante San. I'm Hassan Wasike, a member of the committee. I've been representing the clan Yabamutiru Kwayo Kamati. Thank you so much. Kunera Majimbo, Basungoro Mangal, where there is a successful man, there is behind a lady. Pase Javanezova Ongo Sila Sante. Asante. Eh, kwa majina ni Chrisantus Hamala, treasure our Bamutilu, Nekoye Welfare Asante. Uh, Bernard Machunga, member. Um, I'm Leonard Wekesa Kinyale, member. Edward Simiu, Niko in charge of communications. Chrisandus Mabele, I was the secretary. Bernard Wafula, manager of Mawai Kamati. Adrian Sifuna, member. Honorable Dr. Vifoli Wakoli member. Dr. Wakoli Vifoli. Asante Chairman, Mwishmiwa Raila Mola Dinga. Magava na zuota ambao mejumuika na sisi na viongozi wala ambao pia wametoka Uganda. Tumsifu Yeso Kristo. Daima na milele. Mi naituwa Majimbo Okumu. Nimekua katibu muandalizi wa haya matanga. Nata kuchukua nyafasi kwa shukuru nyinyi wote, kuanzia kwa baba, kwa mchango wako tulipata, mchango wa governor e, Lusaka tulipata, mchango wa wabunge, wa kandui, mchango wa former governor wangamati tulipata, mchango wa mwishmiwa wa mwenyinyi tulipata, mchango wa mwishmiwa na bina buwera, umane wali hanga tulipata, na wale wota ambao sijaisabu na wale ambao walitusaidia, kama katibu muandalizi na sema asanteni sana kwa ile kazi nzuri ambayo metufanya fanikisha haya matanga. Ya wala ambao wajui historia yangu na Lawrence Ifuna. Lawrence Ifuna has been my political father. Na ya alikuwa nasema epusi sale epusi. Yani paka inasaa paka. Umbwa inasaa umbwa. Sasa wala ambao viongozi ambao mebaki. Mwige mfano wa mwishimu wa Sifuna. Mukisema one plus one equals to two. Mzisema equals to eleven. Uzabu mambo ya kusema 1 plus 1 equals to 11 in the narrative mambo ya nasambaratika. So tunamshukuruni nyinyi nyote ambao mmekuja, tumevunjika kabisa, kabisa, kabisa. Mungu wa wabariki, muendelea kusaidia watu sehemu zingine za inji. Shukran. Thank you, Your Excellency. Right Honorable Raila Molodinga. All protocols observed. As the deputy chairman of this funeral committee, I want to share with the congregation and tell you all that this funeral has been followed very keenly. The committee is only delivering. But the followers of this funeral, including the Right Honorable Raila Molo, have shown the people of Bungoma and the members of the family, that Lawrence Ifuna, who is fallen today, was indeed a great person. We may not have the time to thank you in, as individuals, but we know and appreciate all those that have made it a purpose to be here intentionally, to mourn the let with us. The clan from which Sifuna comes as a structure, the structure extends into Uganda, and the king of the clan of Bamatiru is here. The governor, the king is here, and the king will have a time to say something. The memories of Sifuna and what has been said before you arrived, Your Excellency, have been all praised and thank you for making your time to be here with us. As I finish, 
I didn't know that uh, this is a mother of all funeral in Bungoma, closing the year 2020, 2023. Governor, before you arrived, I'm sure that has been delivered to you. For all who have come, we were in charge of arranging the funeral. We thank you. Minor hitch only about seating arrangement, but after this, we shall proceed to lay to rest Honorable Lawrence Ifuna. All the children now are here. Lawrence Ifuna took them to school. You go to America, you hear names Ifuna. If you're flying somewhere in the Middle East, you hear Captain in, Captain in charge over there. With those many words, I thank you very much and most welcome. Asande Naipu wa Mwenyekiti. Si rais uwe mwenyekiti wa matanga ya kitaifa. Nataka nishukuru jamii kukubali mimi na wenzangu tusimamie matanga haya. Si kwamba mimi nimekuwa mwandani wa Lawrence, but mimi ni mwanafunzi wa Lawrence. Your Excellency, Right Honorable Raila Amolo I want to thank you. We received your support through Edwin Sifuna and you've been very close to Lawrence Sifuna. I personally, I know how close you are, including Munyasia, Muse Wangamati, and so many others. Leaders seated here, we are privileged to be here morning of Bungoma. Lawrence Sifuna, si kama mimi na wewe, but ni baba wa wote. Lawrence Sifuna was a mediator. Lawrence Sifuna mended politicians. Wengi wenye tuko hapa wana siyasa is because of Lawrence Sifuna. Na ile musimamu alikuwa nayo, tunataka tushukuru sababu alitupea kijana from this family. And I want to thank you, right honorable Raila Molo Dinga, allowing our own son to be the SG of a national party known as ODM. Not only that, but Edwin Sifuna is a senator in Nairobi. And more so, you've given us a member of parliament our own. If I say that, Naskia Machozi Natoka. Bunge Westlands went to Litupe. So we have two lawyers, including Aladu, where went you Mesababisha. So as much as people can say, but you have made some of us to be where we are. We want to thank you for you sparing time to come and mourn with us and having a very serious send-off of this hero. Mimi kama kamati, kwa niyaba ya kamati, tulipata usaidizi kwa viongozi wote wameka hapa. Wengine wataweza kupeana poli zao kwa mjane, and I know matanga kama hii, haikosi utepetefu. Kuna ulegefu hapa na pale. Kama kuna mali atujafanya kazi vizuri. Pole, sababu na jua. Mulinipea kazi ngumu sana. Ama chema nuvodi ya Mbungoma County. But hii matanga is beyond my party. Because Lawrence has mediated all leaders wenye wako hapa. Hamefanya umekua kwa uungozi. Thank you for respecting Lawrence up to now. I want to say, maali kukima na shida yote, blame the chairman not the committee. Thank you. Asante. Tupikie kamati makofi tofadhali. Mumefanya kasi mzuri. Also, let me recognize the newest doctor in the room. Ifoli wakoli, wapigia makofi. As a PhD in religion. Alitaka kuwa Catholic priest, mambo ikamushinda kidogo. Lakini ya meachifu, sindio? Situ mpigia makofi. Nataka ni mulete mjumbe wetu wa kandui. Uh, mjumbe watu wakandui kwa heshima na anapokuja nataka niseme kitu moja mheshimiwa waluke is here as the chairman of western mp's caucus mheshimiwa waluke kindly unite all the members of parliament in western we have our leader here called moses masika wetangula Unite these people under Moses Masika Wetans. Alafu napika mipira ya kulipwa huko inje. There is no day muluya atakuwa breasted. Akina nabina puera are here. Mwishimiwa sifuna huko hapa. We want to speak in one voice as the Luya nation. 
It doesn't matter even if we gravitate towards other parties. Lakini waja to unite. Waja kwe? Wewe waje vitu zingine hii unakula. Wewe kuja. <laughs> Wewe kuja. Wewe ni moloi ama. Let's gravitate towards one party. Tuunge Moses Masika we tangula. Uko mbele tunajua we will have a say in the government. Mheshimiwa Makali. Pekee mheshimiwa Makali mjumbe wa Kandui Makofi. The right honorable Raila Molo Dinga, Prime Minister. The governor of Bungoma, Kenneth Makelelo Saka. Professor Peter Nyang Nyongo, governor of Kisumu. My colleague, senior colleague in the profession and my teacher, James Agri Bobo Rengo, the governor of Siaya. Family members of our fallen hero, the late Lawrence Sifuna. My colleagues, members of parliament, my very good friends and colleague in the profession, Mwishimio Edwin Sifuna, the king of Bamutil, all the way from Uganda. All the party leaders present, former members of parliament, Na nyinyi wote ambao siku moja mtalala kama huyu Lawrence Sifuna hamjambo God is good all the time Kwanza kabisa wacha ni kwa sababu toka nichaguliwe kama mbunge wa Kandui right honorable prime minister Jawai Kanyaga hapa Bungoma I take this particular opportunity to welcome you Right Honorable Prime Minister Raila Amolo Dinga to Kandui constituency, Bungoma County. We feel honored by your presence on this occasion of escorting our hero, Lawrence Sifuna, and all the other governors who have accompanied the Right Honorable Prime Minister. As the elected representative of the great people of Kandui, who this fallen hero had to represent between the year 1992 and 1997, nasema karibuni sana kuja kusimama na sisi, because we are poorer by his passing on. Tunafurai sana ninyi kuja kusimama na sisi, tuweze kumushindikisha uishuja wetu, ambaye alituakilisha watu wakandui kabisa. Tatu, ningependa kuchukua nafasi kwa niaba angu binafsi, na kwa niaba ya watu wote wakandui, Kumbwea familia hii, poleni, poleni, poleni sana. And Vamutil was for producing such a hero. I hope at the end of the day today, Vamutil Ndukulayu Kambitanda will produce another hero like this one. Tatu, tumekuja hapa watu wengi sana. Na tukisema sisi wote tutaongea labda hatuta maliza. Tutaongea labda mpaka kesho. Sasa kwa heshima yenyu ukiona tunaharakisha program sana mtatusamea kwa sababu tunataka tuende tumuziki huyu shujaa yetu kwa njia ya heshima ambazo alistahili. Mimi nilimjua Lawrence Sifuna nikiwa mtoto mdogo 1979 nikikuwa class 1. Yeye alikuwa mjumbe wa Kandui. Wa Bungoma South then. I did little did I know that at one time at one time Pia mimi nitakuja ni kue mjumbe wa kandui so that we can share something with the late Lawrence Sifuna. Sasa kwa watu wa kandui, wote ambamu nilipatia heshima hile, ili mi pia niweze kue sabika ni pamoja na Lawrence Sifuna na wapatia shukurani na kongole tele. Kile tunawaomba is that we might not, we are going to deliver on behalf of our people and we are going to walk in his footsteps to ensure that his legacy remains an enduring legacy in our constituency and our country and our county at large. Tuko hapa na wajumbe wengi sana because Sifuna was a national and international figure. We have very, very many delegations. Sasa nataka kuenda kwa haraka sana kwa ita wale wageni ambao wamekuja ili tuweze kusikiza wa viongozi na tuwache kanisa weze kuombea roho ya marehemu Lawrence Sifuna. 
kwanza kabisa kuna wale wenzangu tunawashukuru sana because i became a member of parliament in the year 2022 but there were others who had served ahead of us na tunawapatia kongole sana because we want to follow in their footsteps to deliver up on the promises which we made for our people nataka kuwaita wale former members of parliament wale ambao walifanya kazi kule nyuma na huyu shujaa yetu ambaye amelala hapa wakuje labda tu waseme neno moja tu alafu tuweze kusonga mbele kwa haraka sana na si hapa bungoma tu across the country nataka kuanza na mheshimiwa John ah mheshimiwa Morris Makhano hebu tumpigie mheshimiwa Morris Makhano makofi because mheshimiwa Morris Makhano ndiye alikuja nafikiri akafanya mheshimiwa Sifuna <laughs> Asante sana. Wageni wote ambao wamekuja siku ya leo na familia ya marehemu na kanisa andalizi. Mimi naitwa Morris Mahanu Mheshimiwa. Nilikuwa mjumbe wa Kandui. Lakini kakazi ya serikali nikastaafu kama provincial commissioner. Kidogo tu. Nimejulisha kwamba wakati nilisimama kura kumshinda sifuna huyu maremu nilikuwa kasi ngumu ya hakuwa mtu rais kwa siasa lakini binadamu uteleza mwaka wa 84 nilikuwa DC huko Kisi nikawa rafiki nyachae nikaita nyachae akaja kanifanyia rambebu mula ere ya sifuna sifuna kuona mzuri akanongonesea maremu Elija Mwangale kwamba yuko mtu huko nyumbani anataka kunisumbua. Basi mimi nikatolewa haraka haraka kuwa DC huko Kisi nikapelekwa Nairobi kuwa Karani kwa ofisi ya Kibaki. Huko nikajipanga. Nikaambia professionals wa Kandui tukajipanga. Mwaka wa 88 nikaja na washukuru sana waheshimiwa wabunge na wale ambao mko tuelekeze kwa njia mzuri anda bwana wetangula ambao ni kiongozi wetu mubarikiwe asante asante sana mheshimiwa Morris Makhano along serving PC mheshimiwa Sifuna he served at the same time with huyu daktari Noah Wekesa dakika moja uh, wajane na family yote ya Sifuna the guest of honor right honorable Raila Molo Dinga former prime minister leader of opposition today and the governors accompanying him members of parliament senators and party leaders na wote hamjambo mimi nilikuwa kwa bunge na marehemu sijui ni wangapi hapa ambao walikuwa na sisi kwa bunge Nataka tu kusungumzia vile tulifanya kazi bila kumaliza wakati. Sifuna aliweza kuja kitale wakati George Captain amekufa alikuwa the whip ya Fort Kenya. Na yeye ndiye aliongoza wabunge wote ambao walikuja kuhakikisha kwamba mimi ni mbunge mara ya pili kwa constituency ya kwanza na hiyo siwezi kusahau istoshe wakati 2013 mimi nasimama nikitafuta kiti cha governor Transoya na yeye alikuwa anatafuta kiti huku asubuhi sana aliingia kwangu akasema mimi nimekuja kuona najua una vita na pia mimi na vita tukashare ile kidogo nilikuwa nayo na aka akaja kufanya campaign kwa, kwa hayo maneno mawili siwezi kusahau family wanajua na hata istoshe nilipokuwa na Robi nikiwa mbunge niliona huyu jamaa alikuwa mtu ya pekee Nehukenda mu streets cha Nairobi 
abantu bechya ku mugesya ne siyesi ni bero ne se ba gesya go ta ndivasiye mbosiye ne ba gesya siyesi mbunge ye alikuwa mtu ambaye anaweza kuwa mbunge hata na robi hata transoya everywhere kwa sababu ya unyenyekevu ambaye alikuwa nayo these days are here money is a big issue when you want to be a, a, a party leader or a, a, a member of parliament an mca i can assure you you people sitting here sifuna did not need money to be a member of parliament just like muliro was we never used money to become leaders emima kefu nikyo kikhola abantu ba go chakula na huyo ambaye melala alikuwa hivyo eh nikimaliza i've been very close to this family monica was with me in narobi eh tukipanda miti dunia hii yote monica ndio huyo claire alikuwa cec claire singira amefanya katiti wa mkoya ambaye alikuwa <laughs> eh, bibi amekuwa bibi ya uh, kijana yangu secretary general wa ODM huyo mtoto alikuwa my secretary in 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 my office when i was minister so i've been very close to this family in fact i look around and i see a lot of flowers vasi simwa manyamru weke sara kange flowers i would have supplied them free of charge <laughs> but since since i i did not uh, uh, bring any flowers i have something little for uh, for uh, for mefa rufina and monica neja kumgesia mwere sie sindusubiri i want to recognize my wife singira kula jen my wife jen she has made me what i am if i tell you my age you won't believe it but she will she, she, she is the one who is responsible oriomno asante asante daktari engineer wa vyama <laughs> wacha tuita daktari mugisa kitui wa kifumbu sia he is very brief he assume is going to be very brief daktari mugisa kitui ba maska ba a family ye ba mutiru omukukoe ba masaba be mumbone ndelikwe viongozi kiongozi wangu kinara upinzani kinara wa siasa ya fikra endelevu viongozi magavana mlio hapa mabibi na mabwana mtaniruhusu mawili matatu ni yaseme kwa lugha tatu hananji lengo ekura yawa si kuona kilanga ku panel kuliko ku ime kura male kura yawa olikura ijeza kwa kana kana wa lugati bila waita ekura ne yawa siasa ni mkhola sahi bro meliko He who has no destination cannot get lost. Kama una pale unaenda huwezi kupotea nje yako. Try to define where you're trying to go before you can assess how you get there. Sasa hiki sache kuima na kukane khana nende kuikweta nende babandi kuli khoti bila wine. Kwenya kucha wakati mnasherekea kiongozi fari yetu kama sifuna. You must remember the greatest time ya siasa yetu ni wakati tulifanya siasa ya vitu tunafikiria tunaelekea wapi sio siasa nani amenipa pesa ngapi pamoja na kichigo kwa Yesu na mwati bengira lakini kalushe chinga na kani GPS nyale ya kororo you can fall and get up again mukharama busasi yao muri kwati kuilanuta munaumia side najua kwa mbola ngaze merekereta lakini za kumho mata nyaka chiko mana chawa Saichi kule makulu kuambana huria na how can we do better next time and what is it we are trying to do Sifuna hao kwa bwana siasa kujitakia bure mimi nimefanya siasa na Sifuna What is some story moja ambayo alimtaniwa radhi ni iseme kwa sababu nilikuepo Moi alisema kama wapukuzo wanataka kula bahewa yao wa kule Mara sifuna ma bahewa ni maita wakati moyo alikuwa anakuja bungoma county for the first time after legalizing multipartism again sifuna bora linyinyi wasomi kama kitu umesoma sana mnafikiria mambo ya kuandika manifesto wacha 
Ukawa na budget sifuna kakuja kachinja kondo moja na kukukumi. Akaenda akaweka entrance kwa Rivanzoya Bridge na kijwe kitizama huko. Moto keti ya moe kuja wakaenda wazimu. You also are there like uh, Bunyasia you remember. GPS ya moe ilipote kwa sababu ya trick ya sifuna. He knew what he was doing. Kitu chapiri ngepeda kusema. If we are celebrating Sifuna, we must celebrate the way he would have done it himself. That you do not tolerate deviated leadership. We fought for the liberation of this country. We cannot be caught today to look the other way. When the gains that were made from that struggle are being subverted by opportunists who don't know what government is all about. Lazima tueleze wa Kenya ukweli. Mbele ya viongozi wanaharakati wenzangu. We did not fight for liberation of Kenya. Mutu kutuambia ati hii itafanyika wapende wa sipende. Kwa ame wawe. If we banabama iwewe. You can't tell us I will have housing whether you like it or not. You don't own this country. We fought to stop that kind of primitive politics from permeating the public conscience of this country. Mwukisherekea sifuna lazima msherekea ukweli. You cannot take up petroleum because of global prices. And when global prices come down, you keep prices up with a token reduction. We are not fools. Museme ukweli, we are not fools. And Sifuna will have called out fools who think that we cannot see through their lies. Muki msherekea Sifuna, Museme, can we go back to the path of proud politics? Oh, maro, mayora kijana kamolanga. Alifuba na burobe. Kwame nyahuma afu, luka ni kulia bitete bizina na kukona. Uho mango na nge wo. Ifu iba ndubi kimini ya kwa amile kuria na kwa haba kulonde la ba ndubi kula kimili yango kuchingo wakwe mile kuitu kibali wakwe kukichize ni chamsi. If you want to celebrate this hero, you must be ready to resuscitate the spirit of heroism that this country has proud sons and daughters who will not be intimidated who will not be bamboozled, who will not be bribed at petty stolen money, and forget where we are trying to go. Asante, Risana. Asante, 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 Mugisa Kitui. Mweshimiwa. Your Excellency, Right Honorable Raila Molo Odinga. Uh, Deputy uh, Leader ODM. All protocol ob observed Allow me to mourn my friend, my colleague. Honorable Sifuna is the only person I had been left with behind here from the time we lost our elections in 2002. Because no one put us to any government job until my governor here gave me something in 2013. And then another governor there gave me another thing in 2019. Honorable Sifuna is a person I have had almost weekly meetings with up to the other time, just before he was taken ill. And he would call me sometimes just in order to have mock debates. We know what is happening over there. And then he calls me, he says, to, to rebuke me, to insult me. Because he doesn't know who else to insult. Because those who are doing it are too far away for him to insult. So he would then use that argument and put it to me. He said, this is what you are saying. Like if it was this matter of housing, he would say, you are saying you are going to deduct money from people to build houses. I said, uh-huh. Eh to build houses for who, you, and things like those. So then when I try to explain, he says, I said, no, no, no. If you want to abuse someone who is higher, don't, don't, don't lips tremble, and then he will know you are, you are saying something. <laughs> <laughs> he, would have, he would have abused you. So Honorable Sifuna is someone that I'm going to miss. There is a lot that we were doing together. For the political leadership that is there now, I want you to know that wherever we pass, we who have been there, 
we are always asked na sasa nyinyi wakati wenu haikukuwa hivi what do you think about this so we also have information we also have ways to influence you know the thinking of our people and that's why i was using sifuna you know to test my arguments pole sana i see my old student i mean my former student here wajakoyo i'm happy that you are here i taught wajakoyo in uh, St. Peter's Mumias from 5 and 6 and I'm happy that I have <laughs> uh Shun is a king of Bama Saba and Bama Saba means Bukusu and Bakisu of Uganda he is our king not Bama Tiru including me Amanda him that's why I went to receive him from the border with your prime minister karibu now kuongea juu ya sifuna sifuna is my father in law that is one niliyo amsichana yake na tena sifuna through mlamu monica monica alwen and you are dada ya Monica. Na Monica are brother, uh, sisters. Sini kweli? No, no. Sifuna basa kwa. Sifuna pa apo muko. Na hebo kuwa roma makekhe. Na mwezi? Sipanyaba ako nuroma kasi? Yakini sifuna kaban. Uh, senate. Aliwa? Oh, you know na yomu ichukuluas? Sendi kukao. <laughs> Nana ba mungo muna I'm, I'm so much related but I want to respect the one that is supreme. Webuko. Sifuna was my friend. I was one of his chief campaigners and I finally contested against him. And after removing Sifuna, he never petitioned against me. All he told me, I was like, 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 I was that's why they are calling me a doctor. Me, I'm reading. I don't want to have stress. I'm a stress-free man. Kwayo mengi, kwa yase nenya ano me kama karibu kweta, laki nilie nenya ya kuke karas, basai. Kama sikaka sifuna, let us not reduce sifuna in a village thing. Eh kuka kola kuriyo bali baba ndu kuriya no be murengo fulani murengo fulani a a mwakwa ambia chisonita zifuna kanyo ali represented by international community a king from Uganda the government of Uganda is here and all over no ne wenu ali kone ndebi mali mali byo bye siyaza ndi ndache ekorobo khole bye debi na mazini Eh, 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 the hero like Sipuna. Some of you who are being used, we might never rise to the level where my father in law has risen. And all these people have come to mourn Lawrence Sifuna, regardless of their political affiliation. Let us give them time. Karibu Lakin. Santa, 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 Dr. Sylvester Wakoli Bifoli, former member of parliament, Wabumula. We call her Sasa Mweshmiwa Mwambuma Bonga. Bumula tena. Asante sana mwishmiwa makali. 
familia ya mzee mheshimiwa Lawrence Funa ikiongozwa na mama Mefa mama Mefa alikuwa mwalimu wangu katika hii shule ambayo nimesimama watoto wake wakiongozwa na senator Sifuna pamoja na Priscovia right honorable uh, mheshimiwa Raila Odinga kingi wabama saba governors wakiongozwa na governor wetu right honorable Mheshimiwa Ken Lusaka, Governor Nyangnyong, Governor James Orengo, former Governor my brother Oparanya, Mheshimiwa wabunge, viongozi mlioko hapa kanisa ambaye imesimamia matanga ya mwenda zake, tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Bwana asifiwe. Hebu tusalamiane hewani salamu za Mheshimiwa Lawrence. Asante sana. We are privileged to sit here and celebrate such a great man mimi nilimjua au nilijuana na familia ya mheshimiwa Lawrence in 80s na wakati huo it's true yale mheshimiwa Mukhisa amesema hapa wakati tulipata kazi na Nairobi tulikuwa tunapanda kari inaitwa wepes believe me tulikuwa tunapanda na mheshimiwa akiwa mheshimiwa na mashauri yake every day ikantia moyo pia mimi kuanza kufikiria kuingia katika siasa. Bumula mtu wa kwanza among the first leaders ambao walinitembelea kwa boma yangu alikuwa huyu mzee. Na alikuwa kwa boma yangu almost three times akinishauri. Wakati nilisimama useneta huyu mheshimiwa alikuwa kwa chama ingine akaniita kwake and madam mwalimu wangu kani confirm na nikaenda na akanishauri akasema I will support you as an individual. Na akaeleza yale yote alikuwa nayo. So bamti. Mwatibishie ya kari kariba abu kusubalo manga bari. Ba khone mwatibishio mwana wenye mwenye ndafu. Omusoreri be ro yinganan ne ndomsa akhuru ra kusubala ro bali moyi. Se kaba omuntu mwangu tawe. The democratic space that we are enjoying today it's because of the sacrifice of such a great man who you see funa ambaye amelala hapa kuna kitu tunataka kuambia ba mtiru ne necha mungu moyo kambo la alipapa na leka kuimekura alikubera na abono mwana ka seruhe aba kaaloma senator edwin sifuna ba mtiru chi kholo chose chi chiryota mukhulumula lo mwana na kenyo ka kenya mune chisa so this is a hero he stepped back so that the sun can be seen. No ba mutilu sai muno mundu khalo mela kokokwa ali ne rulimi ali ne chimoni na ali ne mbula mukhururushya mo polepole mo gera tawe. Hiyo ndi ga uno mwana yote ke khale ku maruke njofu e gorori ku musanga kwa kwa wa ulile twini ne no mali abaso wa ulile e wi khala nyu mario nga wi khalori papa ara bali ku hakwa hukune khane ku hukwira wo mwe no ndi ne kamaru wa khorie wa ulile murio muno Sifuna munyange kachire ngore makombe ba khesha nanga ne wola yo mukheshi ombole mwambo ba mukhoni yola lakini yasiliyo ko hakana ne bise ne biyolira muri muno Samwao la chimbanga fwicho aya nataka kuchukua nafasi because Sifuna was a national figure tunamjumbe all the way for Late uh, Honorable Roland Sivuna, uh, it's very difficult for me to call the, the Right Honorable um, Prime Minister as former. I always see you as uh, my Prime Minister. Uh, all the governors who are here present, and the former members of Parliament, the current members of Parliament, that, um, all the MCS protocol observed. First and foremost, initially I, want, I really didn't want to come because I didn't know in which capacity. I'm here because one of my sister's son is married from this Sivuna family to Roland Sivuna, is a Correra, to Mama Rubina. Kasia is in our home. And because of that marriage, the governor of Nairobi,
and through our son who is here, who is married in this family, he made sure that he went around and recruited a lot of people to ODM, including myself, of course, I was a supporter of the uh, right honorable Rairo Dinga, a friend of Mother Karua for a long time. But our son said, you have all to be in ODM, live members, so that those in Nairobi can vote for the, the current senator. The senator doesn't know that. But our son recruited all of us. And me was an ordinary member. I was made to pay a life membership. <laughs> so that nobody challenges. We know where we are moved to. I want to pass my condolences. It's a very, very good and loving family. I'm happy that we are here today to see hope at the hero, whom I admired as a member of parliament at that time. I was together with Wamunyinyi, Munyansia, who came for me, and all the others. And as they said, during those days, the salaries were so small, but it is not about money. It was about offering leadership. You were appreciated as a leader, not about the amount of money you paid. Not, we never bought membership through corruption. We never bought and you were the right person. We are all, but as we say, it is always tomorrow. My condolences to the family. In Kisi, I call it the Mukorera now, the I mean the Sifuna family. My condolences to everybody and all those here present. We received a warm welcome as we came. And I thank everybody for welcoming us to bring our condolences from all the members of parliament from, uh, from Kisi who served with Sifuna. Thank you so much. Asante, asante, Mwishimiwa Katherine Nyamato, asante, asante. The next, was I'll find this family, in the sense that my daughter is married here. Mr. Lawrence paved the way for some of us who came to parliament later. The independence and the freedom that we enjoyed in parliament is something that they fought for. And some of those who fought with him are here, they will speak. Lawrence had many brothers. One of them is Vincent Wattelman. That is the father of Edwin Sifuna. Edwin's follower is Peter Sifuna. Peter is the one who my, one of my daughters, Dr. Pam Aluoch Sifuna. I think Pam is somewhere here. Now there she is. So that is why I'm here. And Bamutilu have been hosted by Kanyakwara in Kisumu. Kanyakwara have been hosted by Bamutilu in Bungoma. And we are very close. I have here apology from Pam's first cousin, Anthony Oluoch MP Matare. But Anthony Lord's father, my brother Charles Sondiek, and Anthony's mother are here with us. Please, those from Kanyakwaru are here with me. Please just stand up quickly. That's the team that have been hosting Bamutilu. They have been hosted by Bamutilu. Pam's mom. Mama Susan is the one that follows on Rebu Aduma, Wakusaliwa, MP Nyakach. On Rebu Aduma is also here. I know he's going to speak when MPs are speaking. But what do we learn from sending off such a fine old man? That leadership is not to be bought. Leadership is to provide way forward for people not to earn. I was quite moved when I saw Edwin Sifuna say the day Mze passed on that he left a legacy. A legacy that many Sifunas can now have doors opened for them. It's because he made a name. That is why when we are here we should remember as leaders. I was expecting that I would see a lot of leaders of our nation. 
here, not just the prime minister and the governors, but maybe they are hidden somewhere, I don't know. Because of the history and the legacy that Lawrence left in this country. For me, the contract of politics with the people of Kisumu came to an end. I do other things now. Because, just like my brother here, today you are in leadership, tomorrow you are also led, and you accept it. You don't fight about it. Now I chair National Government CDF Board in Nairobi. And I work together very closely with members of parliament. Yesterday I was in Sirisia and other, other constituencies around here. So, let us send off this old man and hope that the legacy which he's leaving behind will lead the Sefuna family higher and higher and higher. May God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mwishmiwa Olagwa Lodge. Ata Mimi, ningetaka nichukwe daka chache kidogo kumboleza rafiki wetu baba kisiasa baba yetu kiuko na kiongozi aliyetu funza mengi kisiasa na chukua ifrusa ya kwanza kumambia mama ipole and the family sifuna ile kasi ya mefanya inji yetu kama vile my senior colleague mwishmiwa dr kitu ya alisema you've had mwishmiwa lago akisema alifanyia inji yetu kazi nyingi zaidi. Those times were very difficult. Tulipitia kwa mambo mingi 1997 when I was first elected. That was when Bungoma South was split into two and Bumulu ikazaliwa na Kandui ikazaliwa. So Mwishmiwa Sifuna opted kwenda bumula ndiye akawacha kandui mimi nikapata hiyo nafasi alinifunza nilipochaguliwa tukaenda huko tukakutana na kila mheshimiwa orengo wa nyangnyongo na wengine tukaendeleza tukiwa na kina kitui wa timu sisi tulikuwa pande moja tukaendeleza ile struggle to achieve expanded democratic space ile ilikuwa inahitajika katika nchi yetu i always remember siku moja polisi wakikutafuta ilikuwa tumewekelewa makosa sitaki kusema hiyo sasa wakitutafuta sifuna arranged na watu wengine tukatoroshwa na gari ngine mpaka kwa mheshimiwa Jimmy Orengo Jimmy hakujua tukafungiwa kwa bedroom kwa jeji kwa Jimmy Orengo kwake nyumbani na sifuna alikuwa amepanga wakati huo kuchoma let me say this kuchoma ofisi za kanu huko na hero <laughs> tukachoma zile za huko kibera tukachoma hizi za huko kawangware tukachomeka hata ya mwisho mahali karibu tuwawe ilikuwa shauri moyo tukitoka shauri moyo tukienda ile ya bus station so sifuna struggled we had mpaka tukapigwa tuki from stars shauri moyo kwa captain masinde that time but i always remember there was a time katika hiyo harakati tukiwa wabunge tukawa tunaenda kazi huko Dodoma tukiwa na James Orengo mheshimiwa eh, prime minister akiwa mjumbe na wengine wabunge tukapewa tukapewa ndege na serikali so ndege tulipewa ni ya air force so tukaambiwa tuende huko uh, huko Isli air base kwenda kupanda hiyo ndege sivuna was among the people na huyu James Orengo sasa wakati ilifika wakati ya boarding wale watu na board majority ilikuwa our team so Orengo anasema hapana 
akaita sifuna kando akasema hapana hii ndege pengine imepanga watumalize hawa <laughs> Tukienda, lakini tuka convince yeye yeah, sisi wale wengine tulikuwa determined kwenda tuka convince orengo na sifuna wakubali baba alikuwa amekubali so tukaenda Dodoma tukaenda huko tukafika mfanya mikutano yetu na tukafanya mambo mengine tukafurahia orengo tulikuwa karaka karibu na mimi <laughs> so <laughs> so tulifanya kazi na sifuna yeye alitufunza mambo mengi ujasiri kutokuwa na uoga kuwa na msimamo kusema ukweli if it is yes is yes kama ni no ni no na sifuna hata kuambia mimi naenda kufanya hii leo aenda kufanya ingine kaka kila mwao lilangana bora kama kwa kepusi ya pepusi pepusi za lepusi yani ile yake ndio hiyo sio tofauti And when he said he's going to take this route is taking that route. So we've lost kiongozi katika county yetu. It's not just the family. Sio pigo kwa family peke yake. It is this county, it is this country. It is those who value what they worked for and what they stood for in the war, in the liberation struggle. Mnakumbuka watu walikuwa wanalala kwa barabara hapa Bungoma. Sifuna was leading watu wanalala kwa barabara bandu ba kaliano young guys do not may, may not know lakini kama hoka hapa kama rafu paka inji yetu ifike mahali imefika saa hii so we should appreciate celebrate sifuna na mambo mengi yale maombi familia na watu wengine wamesema is important governor usaka kitu kidogo kama hiyo wewe tayari umeshachipatia barabara barabara nyingine patia sifuna usaka rodiko <laughs> Zakaro diko hapo sasa hii kwa sifuna road you know kukumbuka kazi ambayo alifanya si kweli eh so sinenya na kamera bwe nao sisi tunajua mimi nilikuwa mjumbe this this guy John Makali has been my friend for a long time and he's been my lawyer for a long time in both civil and criminal matters huyu jamaa <laughs> Hata wakati polisi wananishika wana zingine alikuwa anakuja ananisimamia mimi wakili wangu in all the cases the incitement the forcible entry to property tokepigana na watu wamenyagoa mashamba hapa Bungoma na kwingine so he is my friend mimi namtakia kila heri afanye kazi mzuri akifaulu constituents yetu kifaulu si hata mimi nafaulu eh umwene na akhirwana ibandu bareva tu nono hakawa somwa Thank you very much. Muriobuna kunde keresia wera balind. Thank you karibu prime minister and thank you for your support. Asante 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 mheshimiwa mafula wa mwenye falme anga libu. Right prime minister. The family of the late. Honorable governors, members of parliament, fellow mourners in our capacities protocol observed can i call my the team the team just come in front said um solo room tiru no no na filile imboko the delegation of mukuka please please we have no time we have no time just come one clarification i want to clarify as the team comes is that umukuka when he's on his soil doesn't stand but because of the special special hero of masabaland the late we shall kindly on behalf of the vamasaba when you say a word when you mourn one of the your sons of the heroes to stand so quickly just say a name beginning from there just name 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 faith nambuya mauso joseph mobalaisa in yenzu ya masaba mtonyi beatrice simiyo sam yesa simiwe se ronald mayeko 
Mzee Wisi Robert. James Tumwesije. Umusahuru Demian wa Mimbi umubishi nzu ya masaba. Uh, fellow mourners, um, my name is uh, Woboya Vincent, and uh, I've come also along with our Muguga. And having been recently a member of parliament, representing one of the constituencies in Budadi East, I'm so honored to be here also to say bye-bye to our hero. And how great that you are remembered for the good deeds while you served the nation. We are so grateful to be here in the convoy of our Umuguga. Thank you. Uh, right, Honorable uh, Governor, Honorable Members of Parliament, uh, former Members of Parliament, watu yote ya Kenya, wa mama, wa baba, na wasalamia kwa jina ya Yesu, munga asifie, mulibaramu, Asante pole ni kamasika kwa mwana wefwe sifuna ne kulomahuli nyesaye munga kumo amutikie bulai. Amuli inde bulai. Asante se kamasina wali khainja ndumu khana umu masaba. Na mabu saka ribu ya alwa haha. Humpaka mamanyi leko. Asante. Asante ni sana. Mungu wabarikie sana. Thank you, uh, the right Honorable Prime Minister Emeritus, His Highness the Umukuka, Bama Saba Veke Nyamuriena, Mulembe Te, Mulembe Mie. Uh, if I'm to go back, I remember coming here as a, a governor Manafa in this county of Bungoma. I am now currently in Bududa as a governor that mudslide district. I escorted His Highness to this sorrowful engagement here. Sorry for lo losing such a hero. And uh, nobody can say bad when you are going. Whether you have hurt him or her, he will always say you are very good. But I want to say he was a very good muse. Thank you very much for hosting us. I am Meru, like Mount Meru, there at the border of Kenya and Tanzania. And uh, the other name, Patrick, I'm a, a Catholic. When I am a Masaba, when I am a Kusubefe, Muno Muno, Paul Desan. Ah, Indumu kuka, uwebi kuka, klanizi, abiru mkaga, ni neno kuyatana ni nzu yu mkuka, uklanizi zizu. Ni James Kutosi, na mira, mwauli wa hoba ibu dule ngururwe kara. That's right. Ari, kwa simile, pole sana kufiru msanue kamache si, developmental man, but kane huso kundi. Isaba huso kundi. Ufana anganiji. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Your Highness Mugoga, Prime Minister. I'm called Habat Mulekwa. I work in Inzuya Masaba as a Secretary General. And formerly a Governor Sironko in Uganda. I'm called Mashero Johnston. I'm here. The late is Maimuko, the third wife, Rofina, Sifuna.
we are saddened, we have lost. So my duty, you know, as a former ambassador, I know protocol. Mine is only to ask His Highness, Mike Judy Mudoma, come and mourn one of your hero sons. Our culture, his highness sits, but we have said because of the service of his son, he will stand. And because when you stand here and see the Africans, the mourners, you know that the late did the job and it deserves. So your highness, we kindly speak to your people. Uh, fellow mourners, the prime minister, honorable members of parliament, uh, my own. I have a, a written condolence of only one page. If you will kindly allow me to read it in English. I am deeply grieved by the news of the death of a senior citizen and a veteran politician of this great nation, Kenya. The family and the clan members, please, Accept for yourselves and the people of Bungoma and the Kenya as a nation, including the entire political fraternity, my sincere condolences, which I address to you in my own name and that of this institution of Womukuka, Three Weber Masaba, for the loss of my dear one, Honorable Lawrence Simiu Sifuna. We have lost a man of international possessions. It's a sad moment. Among the politicians of this great nation, Kenya, I have known the late Honorable Lawrence Sifuna as a strong advocate of unity and brotherhood in East Africa, not only in Kenya, as the two pillars upon which the fabric of society is constructed. That is unity and brotherhood. And that's why I'm here. Late Honorable Lawrence Miu Shifuna did exhibit a very high and great emotional drive and intellect, which actually sustained his exemplary political achievement in this region of Africa. He this nation with that exceptional resiliency will continue to be inspirational to us as Bama Saba and the nation is served. As Bama Saba of Uganda and Kenya, we shall greatly miss his vigor and his continued call to maintain power of togetherness as a vehicle building a strong and harmonious relationship, hence development in society. As a tribe, we Bama Saba, we have taken his advice very seriously because our unity and brotherhood has the way for the more peaceful, inclusive, and fair prosperous identity. For the late rest in peace, that hero, I call upon East African community governments to expedite the East African Federation so that will enable us people who are divided by the colonial injustices to harness our, our collective strengths and work towards shared objectives as opposed to the current situation where coming to Bungoma, I have to pass through the eye of a needle in order to visit my people across here. This has greatly jeopardized our efforts of pulling our talents, knowledge and resources together to tackle matters effectively that affect us because of lack of free movement among ourselves.
Lawless, as I know you, you have been a plausible person, a commendable and res responsible parent. You have re left us with very hybrid society. We are going to miss your brains, which were high with the soul of motivating and full of wisdom. Bama Saba, the tribe, we share as brothers and sisters in the cruel grief which afflicted to us in the loss of our dear brother, a father, grandfather, a leader, and a polished politician who served this nation and meetingly with the royal qualities of a worker who was the embodiment of the virtues of courage, sacrifice for the people of his nation where he served with open hand. Lawrence, he was a supreme representation of the will of, to live happy and prosperous life. Unattainted, despite other scandals, with the desire for serving his family and others diligently. He was always on duty to ensure effectiveness and exhibited humility to all categories of people before himself and above all, he loved his people, especially people of Ngoma and the Kenyans. I share the affliction of the children and relatives to the outstanding qualities of the late Lawless. Please, as children and relatives, accept my deepest sympathies on account of your great loss caused by the death of an accomplished parent and a servant who completed his journey very well. He has left a strong legacy which cannot be broken by he says. May God the Almighty strengthen the heights of the family and take comfort in knowing that Lawless is now resting in the arms of our Lord. May the Lord provide the family with the indispensable strength to handle the current unfortunate situation with humility. May Lawless's soul rest in everlasting peace. Signed by Jude Mike Mutoma, Umukuka Weber Masal. May his soul rest in peace. Santa, 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 Santa Mukuka, he tells me he has to present the flowers to the family in the ceremonial law. Thank you. Umu is here. My name is Aradumo War, but in Parliament I'm popularly known as the Black Beauty of Baba. Maybe that is why many people do not know me because my complexion is not very friendly with the cameras. <laughs> so, I'm here first because of the great role Mze played. I'm also here as a relative, and I'm also here because my party leader is here. I came a, a little bit earlier and I had the testimony of the great brothers of the late Mzesefona. And I was touched with the testimony of Christopher, who said he grew up in the hands of Mze. And one of the things he said was that Mze had to make a decision whether to go for riches or to keep a name. And I think Mze went for the name, and it is because of that name that we have even the great leader of ODM, Raila Moloding,a in our midst today. When you see Raila here, you know that at six, when Mze will be escorted by the angels, he will sit by the side of Mze Jaramogi Ogingo Dinga, Masinde Muliro, Mumias Nabongo, Wamal Wakijana, because he's on the right side of his story. I was keenly looking at the eulogy, and I've seen names which many of the younger generations will not call here today in this eulogy. Whether James Orengo was here or not, you saw his name in the eulogy, and that is because of the special role they played in the struggle. I really want to thank you, Baba. I'm sure even the king of Uganda, 
just knew this place would be peaceful because you are coming. That is why we have even these relatives of Uganda. We are also here because, as Honorable Laga Luach said, Edai killed his wife, Susan, the short one who is there. Then you people would not have had Pamela here, who is her daughter, and who is her doctor. So you've gotten the best, Baba. I want to say that all the people who are here today and who have served in this parliament have served because of the great role the six, the seven bearded sisters played. That is why you would see the na their names in the eulogy here today. Many of us who are in parliament today know that parliament has been captured. And we still look forward to Baba to redeem this country with his colleagues. We also know that it is historical and biblical that emancipation of the people of Western would actually come from the lake. So I want to thank Baba because I've worked closely with my colleagues, members of parliament who are here today. We worked very closely with Waluke in the last parliament. We worked closely with Wamunyini, who is the chairman of DAP party. But I want to say for sure that I know Baba has been very close with the people here because I recall my days when I was serving in city or courtesy of Baba. And we served with Philip Kesia, who is also from Western. That is the time when courtesy of Baba had the opportunity to interact with even your former governor. And we worked well. That is the time when Aladwa from this region became the mayor in Nairobi, courtesy of Baba. And now you have another Sefona, who is the senator of Nairobi. It is not easy to win a vote in Nairobi. Since we just win votes in the village. So there are people who would talk and give a good testimony of them that we are sending here today, which is Baba Professor Nyang Nyong and his colleagues who are here. I also want to thank the deputy party leader of ODM, Honorable Paranya, for being equal and being steadfast to us. So I don't want to go beyond that. I want to thank everybody. We are here as relatives and uh, I want to urge you, Baba, to continue because in Parliament we've been captured. And I know the next game plan is to capture our governors like Lusaka, who also borrows, you know, his luck from Bondo, where he served as a young Dio. So there's nobody who will rise. Even our leader in Parliament, Wetangula, could not be there if it were not for Baba. He borrowed and he got the luck because he worked under Baba. I recall the days... When I was at the university with the current president, because we entered the same day and graduated the same day, when I was studying law and he was studying botany and zoology. Prime Minister Raila Molo Dinga. Magavana Walio Hapa, Deputy Party Leader Wachama Changu, Chaodiem, Party Leader Wachakoya. Padi leader Eugene. Na nyinyi wote mlio kuja. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yangu ni matatu ya kwanza. Kwamba mzee nilimjua. Watoto wake ni marafiki zangu. Mzee amenisaidia. Kwa njia nyingi. Kwa hivyo nikija hapa mimi nimekuja nyumbani. Kumulia baba yangu. Jambo langu la pili ni kwamba nina rambi rambi za wabunge wafuatao kwa sababu wako katika kazi ya kitaifa kule Rwanda. Mheshimiwa Jacko Amboka wa Bumula, Mheshimiwa Clement Siloya wa Sabatia, Mheshimiwa Naika wa kutoka Mumias West, Mheshimiwa Wangwe, na Mheshimiwa Wangwe amenipa amenitumia fedha Shilingi elefu shirini nipatie familia. Mweshimiwa Omanyo, woman rape wa Busia. Na mweshimiwa Kashobe, ambaya na mjua seneta wa Subukia. Wamenituma rambi rambi zao. 
Jambo langu la tatu ni hili. Nikiwa mwanafunzi katika chuo kikuu nilipata nafasi ya kuwajua kwa undani the bearded sisters nikiwa mwanaharakati wa university nikishikwa na rais aliyekuwa moi huyo rengo na wengine ndi walikuja kunitoa katika underground basement kule nakuru nikiwa nimewekwa kule na nakumbuka mzee huyu akiniambia mwana wa batajun that is the root for a man you are being baptized into leadership nilipokuwa nakuja hapa right honorable I asked myself am I coming to mourn or to celebrate the life of a hero And because I answered myself that I'm coming to celebrate rather than mourn allow me to say the following What would I do differently that would make this man happy in heaven is to ask my colleagues whom we are in parliament together not to allow parliament to be taken hostage by the executive it would make this man happy what would i do differently to make sifuna receive me in heaven is to ensure that Kavirondo that was from Turukana to Isbania is one is one the unity of Kavirondo is required now than ever before the other day why do you think the Meru and Kamba were meeting because they realize that the journey we have ahead if we don't work together we will perish individually god bless you all mimi na bwera for those words of wisdom let me have mheshimiwa ferdinand wanyonyi from tranza yeah but as he comes we recognize the arrival and presence of our own daughter of the soil susan nakumicha the cs health karibuni sana karibu sana Karibu sana CS, karibu sana. I knew you had a function in Kitale you were supposed to attend. We don't take it for granted that you have found time to come. Karibu sana waziri, sasa nakumicha. Basi on the behalf of the people of Tanzania I've come to say pole to the family of Mse ambao nilijua sana. Ilikuwa mdogo akiwa kuja late sitaki kuchukua muda mrefu isipokuwa kusema pole sana kwa familia ya ndugu yetu mzee ambao tulimjua sana akiwa bunge mimi nimekuja rambi rambi kutoka Tanzania wengi tungekuja hapa lakini nilikuwa na sheria mpaka nimekuwa na governor wetu na wengine huko tumechelewa kwa hivyo sitaki nichukue muda ikuja tu niseme pole kwa familia na huyu mzali alifanya kazi mimi nilipokuwa kijana nilimsikia akiwa bunge was a no nonsense person and sisi pia tunajaribu kufata nyayo zake iliyoko ni ya kwamba tuliwe na umoja ili siku moja pia sisi eh, tujulikane pale mzee alikuwa kwa bungeni kwa hivyo yangu ni kusema tu pole kwa niaba ya familia yangu kwa sababu familia ilijua sana mzee mheshimiwa sifuna na kwa hivyo nimekuja tu kusema pole mimi nikiwa hapa kwa niaba ya pati yangu ya Fort Kenya mimi nikiwa vice chairman wa pati ya Fort Kenya nimekuja kusema pole sana kwa hivyo asante sana
kupatia nafasi. Thank you. Santa, 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 sana mheshimiwa Fadi na Ndwanyoni. Nafasi hii nataka kumpatia mheshimiwa John Koi wa Luke mwenyekiti wa Western MPs Western MPs Caucus. Haya. Excellency the right prime minister wetu eh waheshimiwa governors wa bunge familia ya mheshimiwa wetu ambaye ametuacha na wote nyinyi ambao mmekuja kushuhudia kukusindikisha mzee mheshimiwa wetu hamu jambo mulembe Mulembe swa Sitajukua muda mwingi Deputy Prime Minister wa ODM Mheshimiwa Former Governor wa Kakamega Sisi tumepoteza siku ya leo Your Excellency tuko na blackout katika Bungoma County Na mheshimiwa Mheshimiwa wote ambao wamekucha wanamjua mheshimiwa Sifuna kwa kazi nzuri ambayo alifanya kwa inji hii ya Kenya. Tumempoteza kwa vile kusaliwa kwa binadamu inakwanga ni pahati tu lakini kufa ni lazima hata sisi sote tutakufa. Kwa hivyo tunaomba Mwenyezi Mungu ailase mahali roho yake mahali pema peponi. Ninaongea hapa kama chairman ya Western Regional Parliamentary Caucus. Naomba sisi sote kama wananchi na wabunge walioko hapa kwa siku ya leo ya kwamba umoja wetu ni ya muhimu zaidi. Na kwa muda ya miaka sitini tumekuwa tu sisi kama jamii ya region ya Western hatutaka kuwa tume eh, shirikiana kwa pamoja tutachukua kuwa united lakini naomba hii umoja wetu ndio watu wote kabila sote siheshimu sisi kama jamii kwa hivyo uza sera setu hata ikikuwamo baba unajua baba ni mchukua 13 wa waluya yeye pia ako ndani sisi tushirikiane ndio tuheshimike Papa kwanza nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kushukuru vile ulitulisa inji hii kwa mambo ya strike Nasema ni asanti sana eh, mheshimiwa prime minister Inji hii ilikuwa na waka moto na hii serikali ambaye iko serikali yote ikiundwa inakuwa ni serikali yetu sisi wa Kenya. Na ndiposa baba alifikiria akafika mwisho akasema wacha nitulize inji mambo ya strike isimame. Na hapo lazima tumpongeze. Pigia ye makofi wana inji wa Bungoma. Na tuendelee hivyo ndio inji yetu iwe na demokrasia mzuri na mambo ya biashara pia iendelee. Tusi tusiane vile nimesikia kiongozi mmoja hapa akisema oh sijui hapana we are not here to show ubabe hati wewe sijui wewe sijui ukiongea sister si hatu kitusi mimi ni kitusi mheshimiwa prime minister ndio nitaonekana hero katika hii bungoma no that is nothing tuheshimu rais wa Kenya yule hapo tuheshimu hata makamu wa rais wa Kenya hapo Ndiposa hata nyinyi mkichukua uongozi mtaheshimika. Si ati mtakuwa tu uh, ukitusi ndio ujulikane hapana. So tuheshimu rais, tuheshimu makamu wake, tuheshimu serikali yake na hii serikali sisi tuko ndani. Watu wa Western Region. Na humija ndio huyo. Ako kwa hii serikali. Wetangula ndio huyo. Ako kwa hii serikali. Mudabati ndio huyo ako kwa hii serikali. Na mwamba ndio huyo ako kwa hii serikali. Na mupendane hii mambo ya kuoana hii vile nimeona hapa 
ndio mimi na nasitisha tuoane kama ni wajaruo wao wapukusu wao wa kikuyu ndio umoja uendelee so umeona family yao mheshimiwa lako iko hapa kwetu sasa nataka muoane na msahane vizuri eh ndio umoja iendelee namna hiyo na hii nchi lazima tuendelee na upendo hiyo sio kwa matusi mimi wakati nilikuwa nimefungwa yule mtu alisimama nje kabisa na akasema openly ni niwaachiliwa ni alikuwa ni ni prime minister chusikuwa nimeiba na raila akasema kwa nini waruke anafungwa na hakuiba na alistaki serikali na akalipwa na serikali yenyewe kama ningekuwa tu yake raila si angesema because he has been my friend mimi ni mtu yake So let us unite speak together drink together na tunaomba hata yuji ni huyu 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 chini huyu 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 tunaomba hata waparanya huyu wakuche wote kwa hii unit yetu ili tuwe familia moja Tuanzoya, Bungoma Viika Kakameka Busia wote tunaanzia hapa ndio tuende kwingine ndio baadaye tukipika kura kwa kikapo kimoja bas wa Kenya watasema hawa jamii wame wame unite because sisi hata tunashinda wakikui kwa kwa namba ya ya wananchi lakini wanachekelea sio wanasema hawa they are not united because huyu anaenda huku huyu anatanga tanga huko yule anaenda siku wapi sasa hiyo umoja tunataka irudi nyumbani kwa hayo majaji kwa vile prime minister anaenda function nyingine nilikuwa na mengi ya kuongea kuhusu hii mambo ya unit yetu lakini kwa heshima yake mwenye eh, prime minister sitaongea zaidi na tunakaribisha baba utembee bungoma ni yako mheshimiwa kaba na yako hapa ni rafiki yako eh sisi eh, ni watu ambaye tunapenda amani na umoja na upendo kama jamii ya western region lakini serikali lazima iheshimike Asanteni sana. Asante asante sana mheshimiwa Waluke mwenyekiti. Kama mnavyojua bunge la bunge la taifa kuna seneti na national assembly. Ndugu yetu wakili Edwin Sifuna ndio seneta wa Nairobi lakini mtoto wetu hapa sana naye ndiye amefiu. Tumekuja hapa kujua kusimama na yeye. Atakiendesha kipindi cha senators na party hapa atarudishia tuendelee twende kwa gavana sasa. Asante sana mheshimiwa makali tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Daima na milele Mheshimiwa Prime Minister viongozi wote ambao wamefika hapa kwa ajili ya kutufariji sisi kama jamii itifaki zote zikizingatiwa na watambua nyinyi wote kwa niaba ya familia ya Mheshimiwa Sifuna kwa niaba ya Eholoeba Mutilu mimi nataka niseme asanteni sana kwa heshima ambayo mmempatia huyu baba yetu kwa heshima ambayo mmeonyesha hiki kikao kwa sababu waziri mkuu alikuwa na shughuli nyingine pamoja na wale ambao waliambatana na yeye tumeomba tu kwa heshima kwamba tutaenda kuharaka kidogo kwa ajili ya muda uh, your excellency i am extremely honored as a family we are extremely honored uh, immediately you heard that uh, uncle lorenz had left us you send us your messages of condolence you have sent us support the first person to give me money to put up this tent was his excellency baba raila molo dinga he gave me 1 million shillings to do this work so we are eternally grateful to you baba i want to say a special thank you to the nuclear family of uncle lorenz to my mothers all the three of you to my brothers and my sisters thank you for sharing this wonderful man with us you shared him with us so much some people think that he is my actual father and you are forever going to be remembered for what you have done in terms of sharing your father with us i want to say uh, your excellency that we have many many apologies because as uh, honorable waluke has said kuna wajumbe wengi sana ambao wako nje ya nchi kwa ajili ya uh, uh, michezo lakini wote wamenitumia support nataka niseme asante sana kwa mheshimiwa uh, bitu zelachi wa dagoreti north ambaye alikuwa anaendesha fundraising ya members of the national assembly wamenipatia pesa ya kutosha kufanya hii hafla i want to say thank you to my brother edi is here Eddie Okech is a senator for Migori and he's a very good footballer by the way but he chose not to go to Rwanda so that he can be with me and he was the one coordinating 
uh, the fundraiser uh, on behalf of the senators. Karibu sana, Father. Kwa hivyo, mimi nataka niseme tu yangu leo ni shukrani. Waishimiwa wote ambao wamepata fursa ya kukuja hapa, nataka niseme shukrani kwenu. Nyote ambao mmetembea na sisi. Governor, asante sana kwa support yako na viongozi wote ambao waka hapa mwishimua na tembea. Wote, nataka ni washukuru sana. Uh, Your Excellency, just allow me to say two things. Because, you know, these people are my friends. Hawa ni rafiki zangu wa watu wa bungoma. Naona hizi sura zote na zijua. Hapa hata wanitangi mwishimiwa ama asifuna, pana, wananitanga edu. Hawa. E. Na kuna kitu nilijifunza kutoka kwa watu wa bungoma. Hawa watu uneza fikiria wanakupiga kiboko, kumbe wanakujenga. E. Wanajua ile kazi, ile, ile ngombe zao wakiangalia kwa boma, wanajua hii ni ya kulima, hii ni ya maziwa, hii ni ya hii na hii na hii. Sinamna hiyo? Sinyi ndio mlinituma Nairobi. E. Wakati nilikuja kungangana na omunyini hapa, Wow, kasema wewe, tunakutuma wapi? Nairobi. I can assure you, God has a reason for everything that happens in your life. And there is a purpose for everything. Those of you who know the uh, Bible, kuna hadithi ya mtu walikuwa naitua Yusufu. Yusufu aliuzwa misri na ndugu zake wenyewe. Hawakuwa wanajua, siku hile watakuja misri huko watamukuta endi ya mewaandalia meza, sindio? Sasa wacha ni waambie tu watu wa bungoma. Everything ni ambia mbohuicha there's a reason God sent me to this old man called Raila Odinga and I became the Secretary General of ODM. That purpose, that purpose might not be clear to many now, but I am sure in the fullness of time, God will reveal it to you and to me. Number two on this question of unity, I have never seen myself personally, Honorable Waluke, this unity. When it comes to issues of our people here, when there was a rumor that the cabinet had said they were going to sell set parastatals, including Zoya Sugar, without parliamentary approval, the first people to speak were members of ODM from Western Kenya. Nikiwa hapo mimi, mweshimiwa nabi alikuwa hapo. Na wale wanakumbuka nilisema kwa hii issue ya Zoya, tutachukua list ya watoto wetu, wote. Unaandika kolam A, no. Kolam A, yes. On the question of the sale of parastatals, including Zoya, Edwin Sifuna, Senator of Nairobi, mwanawe bungoma. What do you say? Na tunaweka hapo. Situlisema hivu. Nika sema, Governor Lusaka, I want to hear your voice. Haka ongea, haka pinga. Nika fry sana, nika sema wameanza kushika laini watu. Haya. Mweshimua makali. Nika muliza makali. Wewe ndiyo mbunge wa nzoia. Kweli nzoia itauzwa wewe ukiwa mbunge. Haka simama hapa, nikaona. Nikuwa natumua video tuna fry. Makali haka sema, over my dead body. Na alo manandi, correct. Haya, ne kuisenda. Muline ndo kundi mulanga ngamuli, third in command. Na alo manandu bueno, yone nyampuli le sana. On the sale of Zoya Sugar, third in command, olomo orien. Kalo maliyesi, over his dead body. Which other unity are you people looking for? Which other unity? For as long as we can see that when it comes to interest of the issues of the community, ate se, nivili langanandi, ni se senator na irobine ni hola, senator bungoma. Ne ndoma, sikilo kundu yoya hundi, Amechelewa kidogo ama amebanwa kidogo mahali. Eze ndoma wisa, nekecha ne kambe, eze kama hali. Hala, kuna unity ingine munataka njini watu. Kuna unity ingine munataka. Na hii chama inaitua Ford Kenya. Njini munajua hii chama ilitoka wapi? Sisi ama sinu si ama waena. Si ama waena. Mutu mwenye hako na kifungu ya Ford Kenya, amekaa tu wapa. Kwa sababu, kuna wenzetu walitutangulia huko, mweshimiwa kina wamalwa wakaingia ndani ya Ford Kenya. Kwa mpango ya mungu, chama ikakua yetu. Ama namna gani? Hata ODM ino, nga muambuka akharomu. Enyo mmanyile muli, <laughs> wacha ni wachie tu wapo baba, wacha vitu ingine mungu mwenye atafanya. Sindio? Kwa hivyo, allow us to thrive in our respective spaces. We will always remember home. We will always remember. If there is an issue about our people, we will always unite. And for the rest of my life, in honor of this man, Mimi, I will always speak the truth. Kambo li rangali, afadhali mutu wa kuchukie kwa ukweli, kushinda mpendane kwa uongo. He, sasa hii mapenzi ya uongo, mimi nilikata. Wacha ni karibishe mwenzangu, anaitua Senator wa Migori. Senator Eddie Okech, tafadhali tunenda kwa haraka, alafu tukaribishe party leaders, so that we can uh, hand over to the church. Ni maona father, ameingia father Jeremiah, I recognize you. Thank you so much for your support. Karibu Eddie. 
uh, to the right honorable prime minister wa mbolezaji wote tumsifu Yesu Kristo daima na milele uh, first of all i want to take this chance to mama mefa mama rufina na mama monica together with my brother chris and of course with the, my brother sifuna to pass my deepest condolences all the way from migori and on behalf of the people of migori as adio kech i just want to say that when you lose a gentleman who is celebrated nationally like you have lost honorable sifuna it is more painful than a toothache all of us will live here today and as we leave we leave you behind the only person who can remain with you is your belief in god and our lord jesus christ because the bible says in the book of zaburi 34 verses 18 that god is closest to those who are broken in spirit may god be with you as i finish just one word unajua tulipokuwa pale bunge when we were with my brother sifuna na tulikuwa tunaomboleza i got to learn of a man who is sleeping here today about his spirit as a left wing politician and left wing poli politics is not the most celebrated politics kwa sababu left wing politicians wanaweza kukuambia ukweli mpaka hiyo ukweli ikae ni matusi na hiyo ndio naona kwamba ndugu yangu wa luke imekuumiza kidogo ukweli inakaa kama matusi as we are speaking right now ukweli ambao huko ni kwamba bei ya mafuta iko juu ama namna gani bei ya mafuta iko wapi hiyo ukiambia hii serikali ukweli inauma waluke ukweli wa pili ni kwamba bei wa unga huko juu ama iko juu hapa western hiyo ukiambia waluke hii serikali inatukanwa si ndio Ukweli wa tatu ni kwamba serikali iko na mikakati na mipango ya kuuza nzoia ya kuuza Sony Sugar ya kuuza KICC hii ukweli inakaa ni uchungu I want to tell you the people of Western as I finish If you read the book of John chapter 21 Jesus says to his disciples kwamba alipokufa na akarudi akapata disciples wake wamemwacha wamerudi kwa mambo ya kuvua samaki and they could not catch anything akawaambia rusha hiyo neti huko ndani waliporusha neti pale ndani they got the highest number of fish that they have, they have ever gotten na Yesu akawaambia kwamba sometimes when you feel like you're the most broken in spirit that's when you are closest to god nyinyi pia kama watu wa western na watu wa Kenya the way this government has broken your dreams has broken your faith has broken the future of your children you might feel that you are broken in spirit but now is when you are closest to god i hope you'll see god even in muze raila molodinga asante ni sana thank you so much senator tunataka kuenda kwa nafasi hii kabla sijamuita mheshimiwa paranya ni muite aliyekuwa governor wetu aliyekuwa governor wetu hapa Bungoma mheshimiwa Wycliffe Wangamati asalimie watu yake Asante sana mheshimiwa Senator Sifuna familia ya Lawrence mwenda zake kina mama watoto wake wote akiwemo seneta mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga magavana wenye wako hapa wa bunge omukuka wefwe waheshimiwa MCS nende ba menyo be bungoma be kandu ine nende bumola bos bwana Yesu asifiwe ah bwana Yesu asifiwe 
Ebony Pati Mukono Yasifuna. Van Reve Mlembe. Mlembe Swa. Mimi pia nimekuja siku ya leo hapa kutoa pole zangu kwa familia ya Mheshimiwa Lawrence Ifuna. Mimi nimejua Lawrence Ifuna kwa miaka mingi sana. Yeye alifanya kazi karibu sana na baba mzazi Patrick Wangamati mwenye yuko hapa na alikuwa ni mtu namjua vizuri sana. Tulikuwa tunakutana ne, alikuwa anakuja kwetu nyumbani akiongea maneno ya siasa. Na mimi nikitafuta baadaye ni kuwa na nia ya kuwa gavana wa pili wa Jimbo la Bungoma. Watu wa kwanza wenye nilikaa nao nikaongea ilikuwa mheshimiwa Lawrence Ifuna. Na kuanzia hapo tumekuwa karibu sana. Sasa pia mimi nimekuja hapa kutoa pole zangu kwa familia kina mama ambao nawajua sana kwanza mama Monica yeye ni jirani kwangu huko Ndengelwa sasa mheshimiwa Sifuna amekufa akiwa jirani wangu huko Ndengelwa na mimi nataka kusimama hapa kutoa pole zangu zote kwa mheshimiwa uh, senator wetu wa Bungoma ambaye ni kijana wa hii familia nenya hupira pole ba mtiru Nenya hupi la pole ba hone mwati bisho mwiwana. Nenya hupi la ba pole ba bulo. Huti bia mwasi wenye. Sifuna ino nga hakoni la hariri. Esene hindi gama na wali jimbo liya bungoma. Mbo hone mwana wewe kana abelomu hana wena mwana wewe na analoma. Abelomu hana wewe na analoma. Nendi gama na wali jimbo liya bungoma. Na po inda sifuna who task force ya hucha hulolele mali ya county ya Bungoma yus. Mala na mega kava chairman we land, land task force ye. Sifuna ino kekande re reporti mala yaba wakati ya corona. Na alo manani hulecha hulomo lome kama huwakano badai. Lakini kasi nye sifuna kahol. Vandwefwe governor ya nano Oli sahi governor wefu wali jimbo ya bungo. Mbare reporti yo ya chamuwa ya chamu assembly na nyola na fasi ya haki oleho kubele mbo ni mma ya nano na aluma kama hoke task force ya kako. Lakini kako le kasi yo ni ndebu nyi indafu. Kake na bungo ma ino yos. Karus ye reporti public land yos yos. Malaka hata ya jabandu waka li sana. Hata ni endoma waka li beka la nuke endoke li zawe na. Lakini kama na koka hola kama la governor na linyola na fas atangalia yo ripoti mara alole nisi anyala hol ne malira ezeba ndebe fuese ndivi la na hanyo na amela muamba na fas na vaga governor na mbambi lo le jimbo ya bungo kwa ma 2017 ni paka 2022 2022 mwa hupele chikura se cha cha lata mwa pirom salewa se ken makelo rusak. Mana ese tare shirina tatu agasti last year. Na acha ekivavi na handava power hu governor Ken Makelolu saka. Na alo manandi isese kwa wanga mati. Sai mwapile governor ekura. Eseso mulimbo na ho niche mkawo ndi muno eniane mwishimiu wa Ken Makelolu saka na hole kazi tau. Mwana eso asifiwe. Gena mala ene ba anwe fe ne mbobya se njwa ena naro eno na naro ble rengusi anga mandas no no ne rengusi ko mandas ata na na rumira no juice chairman kare ra holi moto le dia mandas se mufukirira kama ho aka 2027 we le ni omanya ko holi ne ho bone ato isa santeni sana na munga wa bariki thank you i can confirm ngula nga ho mandas ho nie na erobi ye yo ho Thank you, Governor. I want to specially recognize all the people who have come from Nairobi to be with me, please. Just stand up. What we are to do. Now, I'm a director of office. Hey, how are you? How are you, director? As I was the one to welcome my former speaker. Uh, but you can do that because. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. 
kidogo sana asante thank you thank you thank you thank you my very good friend senator edwin sifuna as i finish let me just bring the condolences za watu wa nne i bring the condolences of the speaker of the national assembly dr moses masika wetangula our party leader of ford kenya he would have been here but he's away in australia on a international function i bring also the condolences of the senator of Bungoma County Wafula Wakoli is out on a national assignment. I bring the condolences of uh, Honorable Didimas Wekesa MP Kimilili who is also away together with the condolences of Honorable Honorable Martin Wanyonyi Pepela and Martin Honorable Majimbo Kalasinga who is also away in Nairobi. As your chosen representative I want to assure you this. We will remain united. We will fight for Nzoia Sugar Company like we have fought. We'll work towards the economic empowerment of our people and we shall never budge. What I urge is that as, mem as leaders from this particular side, for our numbers to count, we must remain united and together so that we can be able to, to, to move our agenda as a region forward. With those many remarks, na wampia santeni sana kwa kuja, na poleni sana, poleni sana, poleni sana. Wacha tusindikishe huu shuja. Tusindikishe huu shuja kwa mani kwa heshima ambayo inafaa and i say fair thee well fair thee well laurence miu sifuna where cometh another like laurence sifuna poleni sana na asante thank you mheshimiwa makali kwa haraka sana kuna viongozi wa chama wako hapa executive director wetu mheshimiwa duoro ngweni uko hapa chairman chairman wa odm naona chairman huyo ni wanyandarwa huyo anaitwa dickson anatoka nyandarwa huyo ni chairman wa uh, narok Kazaro baba anamjua vizuri sana. E, nikumbushe huko sioni vizuri ba. Transoya oh yes Transoya asante sana. Khalaba. Oh <laughs> asante muamina kubode thank you very much. Let me take this opportunity to welcome our governor his excellency Ken Lusaka. Alafu governor utaamsha wenzako kwa heshima kubwa waje na wao watuomboleze. Asante sana governor. I think uh, the right honorable Raila Molo Dinga, viongozi wetu mkuka, familia ya muenda zake, tunajua the right honorable wako na function nyingine, kwa hivyo ni taita viongozi wa chache haraka haraka, ili tuweze kusonga na program. Uh, ni kubalie, ni mwalike, unajua mipia ni deputy party leader wa Ford Kenya. Kwa hivyo ni mwalike deputy party leader wa ODM ambaye pia alikuwa mwenzangu kule governor alikuwa chairman governor first I thought we were saving time okay basi kama mnataka niite ma governors kwanza waacha nichukue nafasi hii niite professor Anyang Nyong governor Kisumu karibu His Royal Highness the King, the Right Honorable Prime Minister, my governors, Wajumbe, Wananchi Watiku, Famjambo, Buana Yesu Wasifiwe. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. First of all, I want to only say one thing the importance of a name. I was reading the newspapers some time ago, several years ago. And I used to see a column written by an Edwin Sifuna. Very good columns. So one day I decided to invite him for lunch at United Kenya Club. And he came. So I asked him whether he was related to Lawrence Sifuna. He said yes. Then I said, you write very good articles in the papers. I would like you to join ODM. I was then Secretary General of the ODM. That is how the journey of Edwin Stefuna started into the party. And in the end, he became Secretary General that I had been. If Lawrence Stefuna had not had a good name in Parliament, I would not have recognized the importance of Edwin Stefuna. 
if Lawrence Sifuna had not been a man of principle, I would not have associated Edwin Sifuna with Lawrence Sifuna. But Edwin, like his uncle Lawrence, has done a sterling job in the party. A man of principle, a man of integrity, a man who is committed to the future of our people, not of himself. Finally, I want to tell you a story. There was at one time when a father and a son, and two sons actually, one was young, one was older. The landlord decided to throw them out of an apartment in New York because they had delayed in their rent for one month. So the family went to court because they knew being late for one month is not tantamount being thrown out of your apartment. But the man wanted to sell that apartment and wanted to get these people, poor people out. The man hired a lawyer. They went to court. The family was defeated and they were thrown out. And the father and the eldest brother committed suicide because of the pain of being thrown out of an apartment unfairly by a lawyer who defended the landlord. So the guy said, okay, let me bury my, fa my father and my brother. He went to the cemetery, to the cemetery manager, and said, please, we are a poor family. Show me a place where I can bury my father and brother. So the guy said, just go and look. Choose one, and we shall negotiate. So the guy looked, looked, looked. Then he found a place where the grave was written, here lies a lawyer and a gentleman. The boy rushed back to the manager. I have found a grave where two people are buried, a lawyer and a gentleman. So the manager went, no, 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 these are not two people. This is just one person. The boy said, I've never met a lawyer who is a gentleman. Buona yesu atifiwe. Thank you very much. Aya. Let me take this opportunity. Nitaleta James Orengo Badai Kidogo kwa sababu yeye was among the seven bearded sisters. He's here in a very special way, though a colleague as a governor. Let me invite the governor, Transoya, George Natembea. Sana. <clears throat> uh, Prime Minister wetu ambaye pia ni kiongozi wetu wa chama chetu viongozi wengine ambao wako hapa magavana familia ya marehemu wakiongozwa na wajane tatu ambao wako hapa ombelezanzi juu mimi tu langu ni kuleta rambi rambi zangu na za wakazi wa Transoya kwa familia ya marehemu Lawrence Ifuna Sisi kama jamii tumepoteza kigogo yule mtu ambaye hata wakati tulikuwa tuto wachanga alituinspire sana Juzi wakati wa Harambe nilisema kwamba wakati tulikuwa katika shule ya primary kitambo tulikuwa tunanunua gazeti ya taifa leo Na sisi wote tulikuwa tunaenda kuangania kusoma ile imeandikwa jana katika bunge. Na hakuna siku jina la Sifuna alikokuwa pale. Sisi kama viongozi sasa najua wakati ikifika wakati huu ndio tunaongea mambo mazuri. Tunaongea mambo ya unity. Pande ya Western Kenya sisi tunakuanga united by funerals. Kuja hapa. Tunaongea mambo mazuri vile tutakuwa united ndio tunakumbuka parastatus zinauzwa tunakumbuka kwa matanga mambo kama hayo lakini tukikumbuka wale watu ambao walijotolewa wakati huo ambao Kenya Democratic Space ilikuwa ni kidogo lakini wakakuwa na ujasiri wa kuongea yale maneno walikuwa naongea mpaka waitwa seven bearded sisters orengo akikwemo hiyo assembly bunge haikuwa na ujumbe saba peke yake kulikuwa na wengine lakini wale saba 
ndio walikuwa wamesimama na haki ya mwananchi wa kawaida walikuwa wanajua mwananchi wa Bungoma anakaa namna gani na hao wengi ukiwaona wala ambao walitoka wakakufa walikufa kikuwa watu maskini sana kwa sasa ukiona mjumba anapika kelele mara nyingi anapika kelele ile wamuone kando akiondwa ananyamaza na story ya mwananchi na kuishia hapo Aina ile kujitolea kusema wacha mimi ni kufe nisipata lakini ndugu yangu dada yangu baadaye apaitike. Hiyo siasa ilikwisha haipo sasa. Na sisi watu wetu wa pande hii ya magharibi tuko wengi sana. Tuko wengi sana watu wetu. Lakini hatuelewi maana ya uongozi ni nini. Mwanga alikuwa anasema alikuwa amekimia andu. Ikakuwa ni kama jambo jambo la kufanyia mzaa. We are very many Tuko na kura mingi lakini tunaenda mikutano ya siasa ukiuliza watu kama hata wako na kitambulisho hawana. Watu ba apachi mbi kweli kweli hata wanaopala panga chimbi mzaka panga kura tu. <laughs> sasa tukitaka kujikuamua kwenye lindi la umaskini maana for me kwa sasa ile jambo ambalo litatizo kubwa sana kwa wakazi wa magharibi ni mambo ya umaskini. Tuko kwenye lindi la umaskini. Nilisema kwingine kwamba we cannot be united by poverty. Poverty haiwezi kuleta watu pamoja. Tunakuwa united wakati tuko na pesa kwa mfuko, si ndio? Tuanze kutafuta pesa sasa. Tutafuta pesa tuikuwa na uongozi ambao ni mzuri. Niko na challenge. Kwa viongozi wetu wa jumbe ambao wako hapa, tuko na finance bill ambayo imetekelezwa one quarter peke yake na mnapika nduru. Just one quarter napiga nduru wajumbe wetu do you need do you need to say no <laughs> all you need ni kuelewa matatizo ya mwananchi hapa iko namna gani bana wafubwa wale me walo zibakaenda basa kuluta basi kwa tasi waumia kweli kweli mimi nakaa mashinani kila siku mimi sina Nairobi nakaa huko ile tabu ambayo iko mashinani yake ya Mungu kama ni viongozi hatuwezi kuwa na time ya kulumbana tutakuwa tuna time ya ku discuss ile tutakuamua watu wetu kutoka kwenye lini la umaskini tulipata political freedom lakini economic freedom is still elusive bubi kwenjala na wikura Okoli fana bandu bosi be kure. That is the biggest challenge, ndio? Lakini ukweli ni kwamba ndugu yako akikula wewe ujibi. Lazima nyi wote mkule ndio mshibe, si ndio? Sasa huyu mzee ambaye ameaga leo, tunamzika leo. Na wengine waliweka ile msingi mzuri ya kuweka ile uongozi ambaye naweza kupeleka wa Kenya wana uh, watoto wa Western Bell. Lakini tunawasahau hata wengine walikuwa na virus sifuna alikufa kitambo sana. Ngabata ngazi wazitu sifuna kafu ile huko ndikana bia hapo hata. <laughs> Tunasahau viongozi wetu haraka sana. Na kama mtu alifanya kitu kizuri na unasahau mahali aliwachia wewe ukikuja utano unaanzia siku ya waziri unafikiri kwamba wewe unaenda kuinvent vitu. Kwa hivyo pia lazima tukue na ile hali ya kukumbuka watu wetu. Bandu befu enga kiyoko liku mbongi, lakini kwa atikie. Kwa kabisa kurudumu tumeshikilia, hakuna wasi wasi, mujue kwamba transwa hiko kwa mikona ambayo ni kamilifu. Kipenda kujukua na fasi sasa, nyombe mwenyezi mungu, airehemu, roo ya shuja wetu, na iweke malipema mbinguni, mpaka ile siku tutakutana. Mario mnoko? Aya. Oyo kali la kakewe. Kwaulia. Kabla sijaleta James Orengo. Nikubalia nipatie dakika moja tu waziri wetu na kumicha aje pia atoe rambi rambi. Alafu ni mlete James Jim Orengo.
Asante Prime Minister wetu magavana walio hapa wabunge viongozi wa aina mbalimbali na wa muhimu sana siku ya leo familia ya mwenda zake na wakaaji wa huku Kandui the great county of Bungoma tumsifu Yesu Kristu daima na milele Mungu yumwema the daughter of this soil of western i'm privileged to be serving in this country as the cabinet secretary for health and i'm sure you have seen progress mimi nimekuja hapa kuleta rambi rambi zangu na rambi rambi za marafiki kadhaa ambao wako mbali na walinituma ili nije nikatoe pole zao Siwezi simama hapa niseme mimi nimewahi kutana na mwenda zake hata nimeangalia kwenye ile kitabu chake cha ambacho kimaandikwa cha eulogy wakati yeye alikuwa bunge ndio mimi nilikuwa nazaliwa na barumu imbi saa kereke nungota kwa hivyo nitakuja tu kusema pole na ni kwa sababu huyu Edwin Sefuna tunafanya kazi kwa ukaribu sana na nataka kumshukuru kwa sababu amesema kwa mambo ambayo yanaenda mbele ambayo yanapeleka nchi mbele tunafanya kazi pamoja wakati sheria zangu za kubadilisha mfumo wa afya hapa nchini zilikuwa bungeni na nikoona ya kwamba watu wanaleta mambo yenye yenye nilimpigia ndugu yangu Edwin Simu na tukaongea nikamweleza hii sheria zimetoka National Assembly zimekuja Senate mimi ni dada yako lazima niweke jina ya kutengeneza afya ya Kenya hakikisha sheria zimepita thank you very much my brother for doing that na nataka kushukuru sana kwa sababu nimesikia wa Kenya tunalia na ukweli ni kwamba vitu kuna zile ambazo haziendi sawa The beginning of finding a solution is acknowledging that there is a problem. Kwa upande wa afya kulikuwa na shida. Nami nitasema hii shida lazima tutatue. Afya hapa nchini for many years tumekuwa tukiegemea wale ambao wanakuja kutusaidia donors. But we must get to a place of self-reliance, self-sustainability. Na ndiyo kwa maana afya sasa tumeanza mashindani ma, mashinani. Ukitembea huku Kenya kuna wale watu tunaita community health promoters. Kenya mzima wako watu 1100. Ebu ngomeno bali. Au wanakuja kwa nyumba yako, bakupi mapresha, bapime sukari, bakureba bakuku maswali hapa na pale, bakuyeta. Na nao kadine na kabar kabaka ya nipo, bakuru moche mu hospital. Na hiyo yote free of charge courtesy of this government. Mambo ya pili ni kwamba tuko na social health insurance. Wabunge walinisaidia ikapita. Sasa tuko wakati wa public participation. Lakini nimegundua kumbe hapa Kenya watu wamezoea mambo ya kwenda pole pole. Mtu akichapa kazi yake haraka amalize hawafurahi. Hizi sheria mimi nilichapa haraka haraka nikamaliza sasa wameni delay pale kwenye kotini but nimesema it is a good time for me to look back and check that I did the right thing. Nyinyi mnajua NHIF Ule mtu wa chini kabisa alikuwa anaambia alipe shilingi 500. Ule mtu anapata mshahara kubwa kama mimi na naona wengi ambao wamekaa hapa. Ukifanya percentage walikuwa wanalipa 0.01%. Mtu wa elfu kumi alikuwa analipa 5%. Hiyo hata si hesabu ya kwenda kwa darasa. It was unfair. And that is why we have brought changes that people must pay those who have money wanisaidie tusaidie hawa wa Kenya out of over 50 million Kenyans watu milioni tatu tu ndio wako na mishahara sasa hawa 47 million afya yao nitafanya namna gani si wa Kenya wanisaidie wenye wako nayo wanisaidie tusaidie wale ambao hawajiwezi kwa hivyo mimi nawaomba kama mtoto yenu mkanipe support hii mambo ya afya nimeshikilia sawa sawa 
na muona hata juzi rais alisema mwana ino si rundu nisi kanda ya kuzai bari igh is a elder ndoma makere lakini lazima mbole muri mundu anenju yewe esese takafodi kenya and send waziri ta Ora se nyane mano barimo mufedike nye mbika na zina zemani ya meta sikira hapo ndio penye unga yangu hiko Akira mtu na dini yake angano efwe ba Roma uli kusira ebangalia pende andi ba bene be khali bwene sasa tuheshimiane hivyo hivyo tu na tuendele na serikali yende mbele Prime Minister I want to thank you and I really like the analogy that you use about football Mambo ya kuchengana mpira. I really like it when you use it. But what I have also noticed, Prime Minister, is that the people who are always outside the field, they always look like they can play better than those in the field. Baremu, nyonka manyi. Murioko, umuwa hamea mwechi. Aya. Oyoka adi lakake wewe ni mundu hafuile. Uli mundu adi le style yewe. Sasa ni chukue na fasi hii. Ya kipeke ni mwalike one of the living seven bearded sisters, James Agri Orengo. Karibu sana, Jim. Uh, asante sana, uh, Your Excellency Governor wa Bungoma. Now the family of my departed colleague Lawrence Sifuna. Right Honorable Prime Minister Raila Molodinga, Your Excellency the Governor of Bungoma, uh, party leaders including my neighbor uh, Wajakoya and the cabinet, uh, former cabinet secretary and leader of DAP, Eugene Wamalwa. Nitasema machache sana, sana. Na nikisema kidogo kuliko vile nitajaribu ni kwa sababu pengine kwa watu ambao wako hai ambao walipiga siasa Kenya hii hakuna mtu anajua sefuna kama mwanasiasa kuliko mimi na kuliko wale tu, tulikuwa nao pamoja Shibule Koigi wa Mwere Abuya Chelegat Mutai na saa zingine wanaweka midika lakini midika hakuwa the seven na mwashengu mwachofu na unajua baadaye pia tukawa na young tax yani the struggle was continuing mimi nataka niseme hivi na lusaka najua mimi napenda sana kusema ukweli kweli nitasema hata kama Ruto angekuwa hapa nitasema hata kama Moi alikuepo tulikuwa na sema hiyo ndio na mjue atukukua na mtu mkali kuliko Kenyatta mimi nimefanya kazi na Kenyatta wakati nilikuwa university nikaenda kwa bunge Kenyatta akafa mimi yorengo bado niko akaje moi 23 years tukiangaika hata hapa Mungoma moi akafa mimi yorengo bado niko kibaki akaja kibaki akafanya kazi Kibaki akaenda mimi nipo Huru akaja orengo bado yuko pale pale Sasa Ruto yuko tutaona nani ataondoka mimi nitakuwa pale pale Na nasema hii kulikuwa wakati mwingine nilikuwa kwa nyang nyongo kulikuwa mama bwana alikufa tuko kwa mazishi watu wakaanza kuongea naongea vile huyo jamaa alikuwa mtu mzuri amefanya hii hata mtu ambaye alikuwa jamuona maisha anakuja na simama sisi tunatoka usijui kajulu huyo mtu ni mzuri wacha mjane mwenyewe asimame anasema hao umeongea hapa sijui anajua huyu bwana yangu huyu bwana yangu wacha alale mimi najua kwa sababu chochote inafanyika hapa Nyalenda ikiwa kuna uizi polisi wanakuja hapa unajua waombelezaji walitaka kumpiga yuo mama wakawa wanataka kumpiga 
Lakini wengine wakasema yeye ndiye namjua bwana yake. Wacha aseme. Sasa wacha mimi niseme mambo ya Sufuna. Hao wanaongea hawajui Sufuna. Hawajui Sufuna. Hao. Na haswa kitu muhimu ujue kwa Sufuna. He was coming from the greatest tradition of members of parliament from Western Kenya. I think we should remember that. He was coming from the greatest, if you want the greatest tradition of the best members of parliament, they came from Western Kenya. Na mjue, musi ogope kwa kwa hiyo in that tradition. He mambo ya kuimba imba, ati sisi, sisi, sisi. The leader will emerge here. Bila Obama ame emerge in America. Aluhia will emerge. Lakini kwa hii siyasa tunapiga hapa, it will not be. Who is greater than Masindi? Who is greater than Wamalwa? Hakuna. Hawa ni mdomo tupu. Mdomo tupu. Na kuambia, mdomo tupu. Wakati Jem Kariuki, when he was murdered, and there was a select committee of the National Assembly to find out what caused the death of J.M. Kariki. There was a, a lawyer in that team, a knight of Anna Peter Kibis, one of the most brilliant trade unions and parliamentarian. And then there was Martin Shukuku. What do we have Wakati wa kupiga kura, they said we must be told who killed J.M. Kariuki? Who killed J.M. Kariuki? And then when the matter went to the National Assembly, Masinde Muliro, who was a minister for cooperatives, he said, we did not fight for independence. We did not fight for independence to murder each other. And Masinde was sacked from cabinet. Kibisu was sacked from cabinet. And they went out now to go out to struggle out there. The best of the speakers in the history of Kenya has come here from Luyaland. Maren, who is not a yes man. I don't think in the near future we are going to get any better, uh, any better speaker than Maren. Wakati mwingine ilikuwa na karibu ni pigwe na uhuru kinyata siku moja ni kiambia kwa mazishi ingine ya matiba. Nilikuwa na sama ati from all the politicians ambao wako hapa, I think it's only Matiba who will go to, to, to heaven. Niseme hivi, huyu mtu anaitua Lawrence Sufuna. If you look at the annals of parliament of the Republic of Kenya, him and Shikuku, there were two things they used to do. Lawrence asking questions every day. Second, motions. And they were there all the time. Shikuku was the king of master, uh, king of standing orders. So this this man was a good parliamentarian. He was a good parliamentarian, and stood for the truth. Good, stood for the truth. Like now, to me, I say, a dialogue in Mekuja na Mongoza mbo Nzuri. But if you really believe in that dialogue. The easiest route is to amend the Finance Act. Mara moja. But I think a lot of people are here who are speaking. When that thing comes to Parliament, they will not vote for it. Kwa hivyo, mimi nataka niseme, he was a practical politician. Na kuna ingine ambayo nataka niseme kwa sabu wa mnyinyi kwa hapa. He used to tell us when you want to go in the, uh, to work in the morning, Kula sasa, kula sasa. Ano mjana najua, nyumba yako nilikuwa nakuja. Tunakula umurere, mayai, nyama, kila kitu, kila kitu unakula asbui, kwa sabu ujui kitu gani itafanyika. Na nasema hata kama unazo kugonga, pelele kidogo, gonga tu. <laughs> kwa, kwa sabu ujui, <laughs> ujui. And I learned that lesson, because many times when I was arrested, Sometimes you'll be kept in the cells for two weeks, three weeks, and so on and so forth. But an incident that I can never forget, because Wamunyinyi was a good footballer, and I was a good footballer, 
Baba was a good footballer. We went to Tanzania to play football in Dodoma. And the back line, ilikuwa ni wa Munyinyi na Lawrence Ufuna. Na wa Munyinyi ndio nyumba yake tulikuwa tunakwenda huko asubuhi. Alikuwa na tunakula uh, nini mboga na kila kitu asubuhi. Na wa Munyinyi akasema leo tukienda kucheza mpira Dodoma and we are on the back line you try your best but wa Munyinyi na mimi the ball can pass but not the striker from the other team. <laughs> Ukipita, <laughs> Ukipita utaona magumu sana. Eh, mundu ku mundu. Uh, and, and we won the match. So me, me, what, 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 let me conclude this because some people are normally worried when people are talking in such an audience. They begin to think, you know, we came to see this and that. But I think, let us build one Kenyan republic, one nation, and a republic is not a country where you tell people where Shimu Surikandi. There's nothing like that in a republic. In a republic. In a republic. When I just, the money will go on a summer to a crown. A Shimu crown. In a republic, the government should respect the people first. Respect the people first. So when people go hungry, you tend to them. You don't tell them respect the government of the day. Now respect the government of the day. Ndugu yangu huko angekuwa mumzima kama alikuwa anaendelea. Kwa sababu he really respected the government. Lakini akaenda. Na mimi ndio kafanya kesi hiyo. I tell you you young politicians, I'm telling you the best of advice. And I'm telling you, even Masinde captain knows there. If you're a politician Try and calculate a brand of integrity and leadership and speaking for the truth. If in America now, there's something called bidenomics. You know, Biden is trying to tell Americans that, you know, life is better. But Americans are not feeling it. Ata useme to mejenga, to go na 100,000 CPH. The question is, are people feeling better today compared to last year? Ama ni mudomo kutoka asubuhi. So I plead with you, let's build one country, let's go one direction, but the truth will always remain the truth. And that's why I respect the man we are sending off today. And my friend Anyang, I am a lawyer and a gentleman. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Aya wewe sikali na kakewe. Sasa mimi pia nataka kulia. Lakini ile alisahau kusema ni kwamba western we have been very lucky. We have had three speakers. And I was his speaker and he said I was a good speaker. So I don't know why he has not mentioned that I'm a good speaker because mimi ndio nilikuwa speaker wake wa mwisho ndio aende kuwa governor. Na sasa hivi tuko pia na speaker Moses Wetangula ambaye ako kwa National Assembly. Nataka ni chukue na fasi hii kwanza pia kusema pole kwa familia na niko na rambi rambi za His Excellency Otuoma ambaye ni governor wa Busia he wanted to come but he fell a bit not too well. Amesema pole na amenitumia shilingi elfu miya moja to give to the family. Pia mweshimua majimbo walipeana rambi rambi zake anaenda DRC is one of those observers who are going to observe the elections in DRC kwa hivyo nimeleta rambi rambi zake. Ya pili pia nataka ni, nilie Mheshimiwa Lawrence Funa vile wengine wamesema. I knew in 1979 when I was a student in form 3 kule Kibabi alikuja na ile lori wameweka kwa kichwa yake. The first time to see somebody na lori katikati tulikuwa tumezoea ya upande huu. And he was very impressive. Walikuwa wana compete na mtu anaitwa Frederick Masinde. He won the elections that 1979 and he went and became a very fearless leader. Na vile mweshimua wengine wamesema, I'll remind you two incidents where this man is fearless. One, alikuja hapa kambia moi watu wakumye busa. Alisewa lusariyava heva, wando haba nyue busa. 
Moyo akamwambia mtakula hiyo bahava yenu. Ya pili, this man lying here the gentleman with due respect to the prime minister Raila Odinga and he knows the history. O you know kawo ya isia Jaramogi Oginga Odinga 1992 kama mkutano kwao. Alisimamisha mkutano akasema mkutano haiwezi kuendelea. That is how Kareja as he was at that time he was in Ford Asili. Alikuwa ametoka Ford Kenya, ameingia Ford Asili. So he was a very fearless person. <laughs> I want to agree. Na niwaambie watu wetu. What Mheshimiwa Orengo has said is true. What he did not mention is that Masinde Muliro voted against the government akiwa minister to save Mwangale who was the chairman of that select committee. How many of our people today can sacrifice o wasio kawaka da hova mwira malolo mo resendo ke afadhali fwe kutete babe fwa no mabari kuireza. We will not stand by our own. So those are the lessons, the courageous people that we have had here. Masinde Muliro was sacked because he saved Mwangale from being killed because he was a chairman who had said the government had killed, uh, had killed J.M. Kariuki. So I want to appeal to our leaders, let us be our brother's keeper. Let's be our brother's keeper. that time. Mimi ndio niko. Na tulipiga hii kura, tulikuwa, mimi nilikuwa speaker, tukapiga hii kura, Maisha ilikuwa imeanza kuwa ngumu ngumu sasa wanajaribu kurekebisha rekebisha bado mambo si mzuri lakini let us have hope wewe mwili wose baloma na angata ni mwili mwili wao mkakange murura wale wako kwa shimo amwezi kukombana mnajaribu vile mnatoka eh wewe mwili wose barata and let me tell you of course we have government and those in opposition wangoyo saa kuoke si aluhulu omireta kuoke si aluvisu fuke buvisi Nyama kwa ndebari na vakupe. So is these things are there lakini tujaribu najua mambo itakuwa sawa. Imekuwa ngumu but let us we are trying. Kakukaki. Niko mheshimiwa wa Lukalomire. Politics of Kenya is also a regional. I want to support him that we must also panga ourselves. Kama kwa face kwenye kuche kumesa kuche ku negotiate with other people we must also remain united and have one leader that we respect. Even twins are born the same day, but they don't come out at the same time. Mulala rangira kwanza. So tuone nani akombele sasa hivi sisi wote tufuate so that we go on the negotiating table with a lot of strength. Sekari kariyo? Eh. Na halo mireita? Nikuja sasa ya county because mimi ndiyo CEO. Na mimi pia naongea ni party leader wa Ford Kenya sahi kwa sababu my party leader ako out of the country. Wame ni uliza mambo ya barabara kunemu. Hiyo mimi nakubaliana that that road be named Lawrence Ifuna we shall regularize it so that we remember him because he cannot just die like that. Ya pili kuna barabara ya kutoka Mula kuja Minyali Sereti Junction paka kwa Tamak. Hiyo tutaweka pia lami so that he join ku serve watu wa Bumula na watu wa Kandui. Sekali kario. Task force ile mheshimiwa wangamati alisema aliunda wakatafuta ile mashamba ilikuwa imenyakuliwa I know we had not paid the members. Members, we shall pay so that we implement because we must recover public land. Ile watu walinyakuwa, lazima turudishe hiyo mashamba. Naona sudenya ni ituwa ke saa nata. Sikia mwe chile kuondila. Baba, na viongozi wale mmetoka out of this country. Leta. Raila, Amolo, Odinga. Aya, Baba, Raila, Amolo, Odinga. Again, Mama Mbawa Kuhapa, Na Familia, Na Mapadri Wote, Kwanza Mnyombe, Manake ni meambiwa na mtu mungine hapa kwa mba mina butanga hiyo kitu. Lakini nita musamee because ni mtoto mdogo na mna hii ni MCA. Mungu wa mshukuru. I'm going to tell you people. Nita ambia ni nzo kubaba olela. Ni neshi ni kubaba olela. Muta naeza kuuliza na huyu wazimu ya bangi alitokea wapi. Kuna gava na hapa nilikuwa na hige. 
kea ye kwa maka mzima tukisoma. Kweli rongo? 1989. Na kuna mwalimu wangu hapa. Sijui mwalimu wangu ameenda. Ebu simama tu. Mweshimiwa mnyasi alifundisha mimi form 5 na form 6. Mumias Boys High School. Nilipita ama sikupita? <laughs> Niendele ama zisiendele? Yeah. Alafu wa mnyinyi hapa, anakuja na fura hapa, na ye na mimi tulikuwa kiganjo tikiwa askari kwa kosi moja. Niseme, niseme. Yeah. <laughs> Omaire banduba, banduba, lisasa mbusa ituli. Ngorua mwishimiwa former governor wapungoma, and akuchama because your father is a hero. I don't know that your father is here. Baba yuko wapi wangamati? Munangojea ye, afe, ndiyo mweke barabara, inaitu wangamati. Bure kabisa. <laughs> Mweshimiwa Lusaka. Ambia hii tuwe msietu wako utu. Tuende bunge tukai chini. Tupitishe katiba. Tuwe na wangamati airport bungoma. Nimesema ama sijasema? Na mimi, Jaramogi Ogingo Dinga, na James Agrio Orengo. Uyu James munaona uyu. Jaramogi alipokutana na sisi London. Nikaambia mzee mimi, nilikuwa nimefungwa na moi. Saizi mimi na chimba makaburi London. Mimi ni refugee. Nataka kuenda shule, lakini makaratasi yangu ilibaki Kenya. Jaramungi alikuja akambia James Agri. Chukua makaratasi ya huyo kijana kutoka ile shule zote alikuwa. Nikaletewa na Mr. John Ward. Na ndiyo nimesoma, nikasoma, nikasoma. I'm now doing my 14th degree. Kwa hivyo buwana ka MCA, rudi shule. Usinja kuambia hata watu, at sisi tuko hapa, at naenda kwa wetangula. Wetangula is my friend, don't remind me of wetangula. Niseme ama sijiseme. Hapa na kuzaliwa jana, unakuja hapa kama bado kuna makamazi, unaambia wate, wetangula no muami. Hata juzi wetangula minita kuenda bunge. Walae sikuwa ni misimama, kunilikuonga askari ni kuchu. Wakati ya likuwa na apisha bunge, wakati ya liita kabwana karutu hapo, ni wetangula muami wetangula. Kwa hivyo, musalamia wetangula mbole mno mwami yesi. Sasa kwa waluya, tuko na waluya marangapi. Na hiyo ilisemu wapa na mwishimiwa hile aliekua mwishimiwa hapi. Kuna kuwa kumeroku sata anu kukomereku nireko inda ndi idai kongu. Hameongea mpaka ni kanyamaza, huyo mbunge hako hapi. Huyo mbunge, huyo mbunge wa bumula, forma bumula. Oyo no msata, kwenye kulorembu 2027 na andanyala ya kaluka nomba tawe. Hamesema... Kuna walio inangapi? Wale ambao? Niseme, nisiseme. Wacha kuja kutombia ujinga hapa, tinaenda huko. Kama baba hiko hapa. Baba, bado hiko hapa. Waluke wakati umejikaa jela miaka mingi. Sisi, tumekulilia. Wawo nakumbuka wakati nimekupata pale, nikasema nini. Ukikaa hapa, wanakuja kusimama. Shobala umbu wajakoesu wako nyatawe. Alafu waluya wakiiba. Wanasema tume... Ati sasa luya unity. Eh, luya unity ya mluya. Ni yule amba ya meiba. Wakati ya meiba. Anasema ni mezingiziwa. Walia kujeni mukaya na sisi. Na mimi munuokoe. Lakini siyo wetangu. Siyo nani? Siyo mze. Tunajua wale amba ya meiba. Na ukio mwizi. Beba msalaba yako. Wapi mweshimiwa sifuna? Tafadhali sumama. When it comes to luya unity. The only person I believe in in Luya Unity ni Mwishimua Lawrence Sifuna. And I want to be on the right side of history today because I am following the footsteps of this man. I will be on the right side of the late Sifuna. Nitaongea courageously. Sita muibia mutu. Ata ukinukana mama yako. Niseme, nisiseme. Alafu ingino nasema ati hui wajakoya ati ni bangi. Bangi ya mao. E siembo langendi. Ninasema kwamba, kuna wale watu, kuna inji fulani, 
uchumi wa Kenya leo umezoroteka ukienda kwa uchumi ya Canada saa hizi walipata nini Baba e! Baba e! Wetangula e! Wetangula e! Bwana Sifuna, mimi nitasema hivi. Hata tulikuwa tunajua nini inafanyika. Kwa hivyo mimi sitishiki na kaa kama huyu mwanaume. Kwa hivyo mimi nasema asante na mheshimiwa na kumicha. Mimi nimekutambua leo. Yale umesema hapo umesema vitu vingapi viwili. Kiti ya kwanza ile ulisema Baba angalia wale wako nje awaite ndani. Ese mkhanefu na kusimire. Orio mno no asandeni sana. Alo. Alo um tafadhali. Nataka niulize kwa heshima wale viongozi ambao wamebaki. Tuheshimu viongozi wengine. Please let us respect other leaders. MCS wa elected na wananchi hao watafadhali tuwe na heshima nataka ni waombe those who are remaining let us respect our leaders please wala ambao wamebaki we cannot come to insult leaders here please eh mlembe bosi Aya anataka nimkaribishe ndugu yangu Eugene Wamalwa Party Leader DAP Hapo sawa Ah His Excellency Raila Molo Dinga the second prime minister of the Republic of Kenya Excellencies, governors, present, His Highness, Omukuka wa Vama Sava, wa Kenya and Uganda and International UOC, wa Mai, a family ya Omkosi Sifuna, na alimo super senator wa Nairobi, Omsale wa Edwin Sifuna, Nilivuka na leo mkosi Lawrence funa na wake siende mrembe. Ese nature ya kupa pole va mutiru mwa TV sie yenyu ya kare. Ne kuliano kuimana nywe. Kupa pole wa bolanga valia kama vele kuichange silongo. Valinia mwei kine kuichange silongo. Ne nywe yenyu ya kare ya kwire. So kuliano kuimana nywe, kupapole kuliwa na nywe. Na lundi ndiano mnafasi ya sengo mlewe. Sifuna ino, oko nile ino, evu kone vule vevu liyo. Alumu ya wana mkone, kulina vule vevu kone. Eva kone kupapole. Eva engele, sifuna ino mwicho kulimu engele niye. Wanyasiri, nyasiri wabulinya. You know where you're from here. Malaru no kwe chile kwe mani family sika kwa TV siya where you're from. Mwa ami Lawrence Sifuna na anja siyasa. Vengila mbunge. 1979. Nende maremu wa maru wa kijana. Vake ndavosi. Vapa ambana ni moi. Kumia akaisha na ine kio, wake nda alala. Luno lurika ako nile, kata uze luke ndo lwewe. Ne mwone si walasia Kenya si ozi siri anan. And the man who has brought us here together is a political icon. Lawrence Ifuna's name goes beyond the boundaries of this county and the borders of this country. And that's why we have with us the second prime minister of our republic, Raila Molo Dinga worked with him. We have with us several governors, Akiwemo, one of the living legends, Agri Bob James Orengo, 
ambaye alikuwa mwalimu wangu wa sheria and my mentor na yeye akiwa governor wa USA yani ugenya siaya alego <laughs> hapa pia tuko na governor wa UK professor Anyangyong one of the young tacks yani united kisumu hapa pia tuko na governor wangu wa Transoya my deputy party leader his excellency george natembea na nataka nimshukuru sana sababu kwa harambe sikuweza kufika but he represented our party together with his uh, colleague the deputy party leader wa munyinyi wa flower munyinyi aliano na kwa niaba ya team yetu walikuwa wameleta uh, 250000 kusaidia familia i want to thank him na nishukuru sana rafiki yangu Ken Lusaka Senate I mean governor wa jimbo hili ambaye tulianza safari naye bali vindu vichenjanga Lusaka ino kwaba naye mu New Ford Kenya de la New Ford Kenya e yose ili siasa yani bali chingo hotinura na kama kita ese nava ne Lusaka mu New Ford Kenya na kwanja e county you know as the founding governor na bandu bebu ngoma kweshimania mwakwa na akanyo nami rasa nibi ratawe and that is why even beyond these counties tuko na our national from the national government waziri wetu na komicha wa dota former governor basako wa zewanga mati lakini beyond kenyan borders leo we have his highness king we for your vama sava yesi aliano this is why sifuna's name will never be forgotten we had a statesman from the british side called benjamin disraeli and he said that the legacy of heroes lies not in a name just a name but in the great example they leave behind today as we celebrate this hero let us inherit a great example of leadership leadership that is based on principle mahatma gandhi once said the greatest one of the greatest sins is to practice politics without principle nasifuna leo is one of those leaders it is an age it is an era that is going and that might go with the wind unless as we bury sifuna today we learn from him and as we salute him also we must salute other legends who are here with us living legends who walked with him we had abraham lincoln tell us that every society has its better angels those who are guardian angels of what is of great interest to that society na hapa kwetu kenya historia ikiandikwa itaonyesha ya kwamba wakati wa mkoloni tulikuwa na kina dedan kimathi tukaja tukawa na the kapenguria 6 tukaja tukawa na watu wa Lancaster tukaja tukawa na the young tacks led by Raila Odinga who is here today hawa ndio watu walileta mabadiliko kwa nchi yetu and it was out of sacrifice out of principle hawa hawakuwa watu wa kununuliwa so wabunge wetu as we live here let us take one thing from Sifuna let us practice politics of principle politics of conviction politics of integrity it is what we can learn from sifuna and his colleagues who are here today hilo ndio jambo ningependa niseme na niwaombe sababu kwa sasa many kenyans are hurting hata tukienda christmas hii kuna wa kenya wengi hata wajui siku kuu atakula namna gani kweli si kweli ikifika january kuna wazazi wengi hapa hata wajui watoto wataenda shule namna gani fees january ni shida sababu kila kitu imetoka bottom imeenda wapi up mafuta imetoka bottom imeenda wapi up chakula kila kitu na ndio sababu tunauliza wabunge wetu if you borrow a leaf from sifuna then go back to parliament na usimame kwa mambo ya wananchi to defend them many of these people here wakati wa finance act public participation over 80% of kenyans said no to the Kenya kwanza taxes lakini when it came to voting only 88 members of parliament stood with Kenyans to say no amongst them hapa bungoma we must say the truth 
tuko na kijana anaitwa wanami wa mboka wapumula alisimama na ninyi wanaicho hiyo salum secha tuko na kijana kalasinga majimbo ameka uchai saka ndaka secha sisi tunasema ya kwamba going forward if you stand by principle simama na wananchi don't be intimidated ama ununuliwe upige otherwise leo tunapoongea tumeambiwa mafuta yameteremka mafuta imeteremka na shilingi tano kwa petroli imeshuka na shilingi tatu kwa mafuta ta lakini mlipopitisha finance bill we doubled vat on fuel from 8% to 16% kwa mafuta ta peke yake kina mama mlio hapo tuli double hiyo pesa ile increment kwa mafuta ta was increased by 33 shillings kwa hivyo ukitoa shilingi tatu na ulikuwa umepandishwa na shilingi 33 vandu vevu ngoma utakuwa umefanya haki kweli hayo ndio tunasema mkirudi huko go with the courage of sifuna say no kwa zile taxes inaongezeka because we have more new taxes coming please stand with the people and that is the greatest legacy you can give sifuna and ensure that his legacy never dies wandu befwe sana nyando me hukira ota basayendi omutiro kharota omwicho kholumbo omwicho kholumwengere kharota rundo na oleyo alakana no mwengere wa maraki jana mfukira mwe kwa kimiremba mwirire Alaka na nende wa makinia masinde muliro murume kona kimirembe omwami ken lusaka khabola ne romo ya mana sana ka khabola ali ngeli kwa bana nende vaspika vataru and that is true omwami ken marende omwami ken lusaka omwami weta abasa kwaruka sindu nsyo balanga ba the legislature na wicha ruve kalwa abundu wali judiciary ni makhalaka kamalaka kwa wanendo mwana mukavara aswe chesoni kecha ka leader la arm of government lakini na wicha the remaining arm of government kwa lo ba kwa nyinda afunga sifuna sifuna akhola kama kuwana kuli nende by election ni wevu ye malaka bo la lise wa sudi kwevu la kusudi kuna ni omurwa you know sala ku nule nende ye wevu ye ta niko ba kola zero na nikina ba munyinyi vanno nabo niki na wakoli waliano kina JB Munyasia vara kama rake chimbwe na chipusi e kaurengu bali moyi ke tali tokali asima moyi ka rwano kwa mupasi mara kwa mukhaya mara ka bolali ba kuzwa ba mukule ba kheva yenu bunyinda afungo ba bukira kwa bola kuli esafari ya wamarwa esafari ya muliro paka kube banyinda afunga sifuna ni kokikamilisha bandu befwe muri tayari Muri mno wela valin. Apo. Basi esia esia. Enangwa weekly ambeza oparanya. Umzia luenywe da mabutere. Kakamega county. Da bere governor wa mwisho wa Kakamega County. Zicho na the deputy party leader wa ODM na pia ni chairman wa Simio Executive Council. Pia mimi nimekuja hapa kuleta vambi vambi. Sa mimi mwenyewe na familia yangu kwa jumla. Mimi na familia kubwa Meleta vambi vambi kutokana na kifo cha Lawrence Sifuna. Mimi pati mbaya tumejuana na Sifuna kama ametoka siasa. So tulikuwa marafiki kama yeye ako nje wa siasa. Ni kwa sababu alikuwa memba wa ODM tulikuwa tunakutana na tunaongea tu kijuju wakati nilisikia amekufa na tulikuwa tumekutana na yeye miezi mitatu iliyopita nilikuwa na uzuni mwingi nikaamua nije hapa niungane na nyinyi 
kuombeleza kifo chake mimi mtu ambaye nilileta kwa siasa ni mwamali wa kijana kijana alikuwa rafiki yangu wakati nilikuwa nafanya kule airport alikuwa anapitia kwa ofisi yangu kila siku kuniambia anataka niingie siasa huyo ndiye alileta kwa siasa na wakati nilisimama kule butere kuwa mjumbe mwaka wa mbili na mbili nikachakuliwa kama mbunga wa butere nilitakuliwa kwa chama cha Fort Kenya anda nak wakati huo ingine sasa ni historia vile nilitembea kufika mahali niko hiyo ni historia ya siku nyingine lakini nimesikia wale viongozi ambao wamekuja hapa vile wamesema mheshimiwa luke kasema tuje pamoja sisi tuko pamoja sioni ule ako kando si lazima usimame na serikali ndio uonekane huko pamoja Waja ni mwambie Unajua mimi kama uparanya nataka tuwe pamoja nikija hapa nipate factory ya mzoia inafanya kazi Watu wengi wetu hawana kazi kwa sababu mzoia mumias hasifanyi kazi vile inatakikana Na wakati wa siasa tulikuwa tunaambiwa hii factory ya nzoia tukiingia serikali tutapata mashini mpya. Sijui itakuja lini. Nataka siku ile itakuja wasike muje mnikaribishe ni hapa nitakuwa hapa pia na tuongee umoja ya watu wetu. Uwezi kuwa kiongozi ambayo you are full of yourself. You are obsessed with the leadership ni umesahau hao watu ambao wako hapa ambao wamepata shida ndio walichakuwa wewe kuwa kwa hiyo kiti ukiwa na kitu chochote kwanza ni watu wako na kumbuka wakati wamali wa kijana alikuja kunitembelea kwa ofisi yangu wakati wao alikuwa mbunge na akasema ako na rambe kule kwake nikatoa shilingi elfu kumi siku hizo nikamupa apeleke kwa rambe na wakati ilifika tukaongaya nikasema pia mimi naenda town akasema bus nipe lift twende town tulipofika town akasema tuna petrol station nimewaja mtu fulani pale nataka tumchukue Huyo mtu tulimchukua kiingia gari yangu na wamalwa kumbe huyo mjamaa alikuwa na shida ya matanga. Saka onga, alikuwa anatoka kule wamalwa alikuwa MP. Na wakaongea nikaona ile shilingi nilipeana ya Rambe yote anatoa. Anapeana kwa huyo. Sasa huyo aliposhuka nikasema ni mheshimiwa sio ulikuwa unasema unaenda Harambe na nasema lakini kitu muhimu si unaona ni matanga kuliko Harambe isitoshe wakati tulikuwa tunaenda nikasema kari yako ilikuwa inatufuata nyuma iko wapi sioni akasema turudi pangina umepata mechanical problem kwenda huko kurudi hakuna mafuta hiyo gara ina mafuta na ile pesa alikuwa nayo hiyo yote ame huyo ndio alikuwa wa mali wa kijana as a leader you must have your people's interest first that is very important so tukiwa hapa tunataka tuwe pamoja na kini tuweke watu wetu pamoja mimi nimekuwa kwa siasa ya miaka 25 pia mimi niko na experience yangu na sisi wa marama 
tunasema ukitaka ile ile fish ile kubwa mbuta unaenda kutafuta mbuta kwa baharini kule 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 Mombasa ukitaka omena ukitoka hapo mmayabo ukitaka omena enda mmayabo mna ujua vitimbi hapo utafuta hapo lakini sasa wewe unataka mbuta ni unaenda kwa kitimbo kutafuta mbuta hapo utaipata nyinyi waluia mnachitanganya ni msilale mnachitanganya kabisa don't be obsessed with leadership paka tukae if you are a leader why are you not consulting others within the community you must consult everybody if you have given been given a responsibility unafanya hiyo hiyo ndio kazi yako kuleta hapo watu pamoja hakuna leader yote ambaye yuko Kenya kwanza government ambaye ameita mimi kama uparanya kutoka Butere kuja tukae tuongee mambo yetu wako busy kini wanasema walia tuko pamoja kwa sababu ya there hiyo na aibu kwa watu wetu tuweke kila mtu hata huyu wa roots ndio huyu ako hapo wa roots wajaka we si ndio lakini wanasema wache matusi <laughs> kwa hivyo i am joining all of you who are come here to mona hero and there are very few people who can do what lawrence fona did we have multi party in this country because of lawrence fona na wengine ambao wako hapo wa kinorengo na professor na raila molodinga because what they stood for they have made us to expand democracy in this country kwa hivyo munga muweke mali pema peponi hiyo ndio njia ya kila mtu sasa nataka nikaribishe mkeni wetu wa heshima siku ya leo mheshimiwa the right honorable raila amolo odinga alete rambi rambi zake haya haya jamii ya rafiki yetu lorenz funa his Highness the king ya Bamasara viongozi wa kanisa na mbolezaji wote ambao wamefika hapa hamjambo mrembe mrembe sua mrembe mia mrembe te mlimu huyo simekuja kwa sababu ya rafiki yetu Lawrence Sif Simiyu Sifuna Huyu Lawrence Simiyu Sifuna ni rafiki yangu Lakini nimekuja kwa sababu huyu Lawrence Sifuna ni shujaa ya wakea Kenya Ndiyo sababu tunambia rafiki zetu zote Nikikuwa na safari ya kwenda ngambo nikasema hapana nitahairisha mpaka niyo hapa siku ya leo Lakini uzuri ya binadamu mara mingi inajulikana tu kisa ile ambaye ameenda Hapo ndio sasa watu wanakuja kusema mambo mengi mazuri juu ya Stephen Sifuna Mimi nimejua ya kwanza akiwa kwa bunge ukiwa na James Orengo huyu Orengo amesema hiyo experience yao. Walikuwa na it the young uh, I mean the, the seven bearded sisters. Na hodi walikuwa wana toa jasho kwa bwana njonjo. Njonjo alikuwa na wachukie sana hao watu. 
Hawa ni vijana ambaye hawana adabu. Hawana heshima kwa serikali. Baadaye tumekuja kuwa na sifuna katika bunge. Bunge ya saba na bunge ya nane. Na vile Lorenga amesema sifuna ni yule mwele kusema one of you can say a professional member of parliament. Yeye anauliza swali na swali kisajibiwa anafuata maana yake unajua kwa bunge atakana unauliza swali ambayo majibu yake ujui. You must know the answer to the question that you are asking. And Sifuna knew very well the answer to the questions he was asking. And he would follow up and follow up and follow up until the minister is caught. So Lawrence Sifuna vile vile alikuwa ni shujaa mtamba alikuwa hana uoga yote waliingia kwa bunge wakati bunge bado ilikuwa iko na 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 na, na, na pembe na meno na makende <laughs> na walitimiza kabisa huko wakati hiyo walikuwa wanauliza maswali na wanafanya mambo mengi zaidi serikali kitaka kufanya hii wa wanasimama pale kwa hiyo mwere abuya abuya James Orengo Lawrence Funa na Chibule Matisuma mashengo wa machofi mimi ni wajua hawa watu wakati huo wao ndio walikuwa katika mstari wa mbele kupigania haki ya wananchi wa Kenya lakini jamaa walipoona kama wabijana wanachochea sana wakaleta ile ile plies ile ya kufinya makende okay kwa kitu inaitwa okay ilikuwa inaitwa section 2a ile sheria ambaye ilifanya Kenya ikawa sasa ni lazima inakuwa ni chama kimoja peke yake a single party dictatorship ililetwa hiyo sheria 1982 kwa sababu ya hao watu na wakaanza watu waenda kushikwa chilaga timotai akatimuliwa akatoroka akaenda kule Tanzania orengo akashikwa na akatoroka na kadhalika lakini wa Kenya walipigania haki. Na hii tunasema ya kwamba the, the struggle for democratization of Kenya. There have been two forces pulling in opposite directions. The forces of change and reform and the forces of retention of the status quo. Wamekuwa kimanyana wale ambao walikuwa nataka kuleta mabadiliko wale ambao walitaka mambo yabaki yale yale wale ambao walikuwa nataka utawala ile mzungu ichukuliwe na waafrika wa ambao waliingia wazungu weusi na kunyanyasa wenzao hiyo ndio unaweza kuangalia wana mali ambayo yamefanyika maovu wengi kwa kwa pio kama pinto tomboya Jem Kariuki ata robot huko. Na umeona vile watu wengine walikuwa wanapigania didi hai. Moja wao ni huyu Masinde Muliro. Huyu Masinde Muliro nimejua kama mimi ni mtoko mdogo. Yeye alikuwa rafiki ya Jaramogi Kamili. Katika bunge. Jaramogi alikuwa anaita yeye Fire. Fire. Na Muliro ni mmoja wa wale walipigania kabisa haki ya wa Kenya dhidi ya utawala wa ukoloni. Na Muliro hagopi. Wakati sisi tulikuwa tunataka kuunda chama mpya. Baada hiyo section 2 iko kaa kwa muda mrefu zaidi. Tukakaa pamoja tulikuwa tunaita the young tax. Rengo yuko hapa, Anyang yuko hapa. Mwiti hayuko toka kati chini ndio tukasema tuunde chama tukasema tulete wazee 
waji wale wazee tulileta kule jaramogi muliro shikuku yule alikuwa anaitwa ndenge bamaris na kadhalika lakini muliro tulikari naye chini mimi na orengo na tukiandika ile founding statement ya ford original ford tukasomea e, ya kwanza akatuambia sisi hiyo sitaki sitaki hiyo haiko sawa sawa tukasema hii ni sawa sawa sema raila wewe umefungwa jela miaka mitatu sitaki urudi tena miaka ya nne hii statement sitaki tuendelee naye tukaunganisha wengine tukatengeneza baadaye tukaleta ita somia mlilo ndanga mesoma akasema chama inaitwa Ford akasema hiyo I'll buy any day you right now I'm driving a Ford car tukani masindi mlilo na kutoka hapo sasa tukatoka na mlilo akasema tutaenda hata chochote kifanyika tutaenda tutaendelea mbele na mlilo na shikuku tukaunda Ford Ford baadaye kukaja ile mambo bila mnajua yote ile historia kaja Ford asili na Ford Kenya yale lakini Masinde Muliro alisimama kamili na sisi mpaka kifo chake sasa mimi nasema kazi ya bunge ni kutetea haki ya wananchi imeandikwa in the common tradition and system the work of parliament is representation legislation and oversight sas yani bunge inatakikana iwe ni inaangalia kazi ya serikali kuu lakini kama bunge inafanya kazi ya serikali kuu sasa nani atao oversight bunge sasa kama bunge yenyewe imefinya mateki wanake sasa kama serikali kuu imeleta sheria bunge itetee haki ya wananchi sheria kama sheria ya fedha ambayo juzi imeleta katika bunge nitakana bunge ipinge lakini kama wabunge wenyewe wanaenda pale wanapiga kura kwa ile sheria ambayo ni mpaya ambayo inafinya wananchi wenyewe nani nani atatewa tutia wananchi kupande nyingine wanawana wanasema wanataka kuuza mashirika ya serikali ikepie at knock at hizi mumias zoya na kadhalika na bunge wenyewe tayari wamesema sheria moja maleta ati bunge isikague kazi ya serikali na bunge wenyewe wanapitisha hiyo sheria ati sasa hiyo serikali inaweza kuuza shirika yoyote bila kuleta hiyo mambo kwa bunge tena tukase gani wao wenyewe wamejifinya makende yao makende <laughs> wamefinya makende yao wao wenyewe ni bunge hanisi haina chochote eh? upande mwingine orenga amesema hapa ati bwana marende ni one of the best speakers that we have had in this country cuz marende follow the the law to the letter wakati mwingine mimi na kibaki tulikuwa tunafurutana marende akatoa uamuzi ya kweli ya kisheria sasa kama natakana kama Uh, sheria imeleta mbele ya bunge kwa ndio wabunge wapewe nafasi ya kutosha ya kujadili mambo hiyo a bill before a house never had time limit a member can talk on a bill for two days and shikuku sometimes used to talk for two days these days they bring two bills in one afternoon and they say they must pass all the stages in those within that one afternoon Members are told the speaker has now ruled that a member will got to have only five minutes. Five minutes unaweza kufanya kazi gani? Hakuna chochote. 
Na hizo bills zote zinapita, wapende usipende. Yaani yuko pale. Sasa Moses mtangula ni rafiki yangu. Mimi ndio nitoa yeye kwa kanu. Walikuwa ni watu wa nyayo. Mimi ndio nitoa yeye pande hii. Wakati nilikuwa kwa Ford walikuwa kwa kanu. Sasa yeye amekuwa speaker. Kisheria ya House of Commons speaker must be somebody who is neutral a speaker must be non partisan you cannot be a speaker if you are a remain a member or a leader of the conservative party or labor party huwezi mpaka ujizulu cheo chako ya kichama ndio wewe unaweza kuwa neutral speaker my friend governor when he is a samarian deputy leader for kenya kiongozi wa for kenya ni nani kiongozi wa for kenya ni nani na taifa wa kenya na speaker wa taifa wa kenya ni nani hiyo nataka hiyo swali umulize hii if you want to be a to speaker you must resign from being a leader of for kenya and then you can be a neutral speaker can be able to preside over the, uh, over the deliberations of parliament in a neutral way and then also allow members of parliament to debate and exhaust the, the, the debate on a particular issue wakati hii sheria zote ambazo zinakuja kutoka kwa ikulu zinapita sheria zote zinatoka kwa ikulu zinapita kwa Kenya wako katika hali ya hatari kadiu Kenya yuko katika mbaya zaidi mtu akisema mimi i am unstoppable hakuna mtu anaweza kunistopisha ni nani nyayo alisema yeye alikuwa ni unstoppable tulimstopisha tulimstopisha nyayo kama tuliweza kustopisha nyayo wewe ni nani wa Kenya watakutopisha Kenyans will stop you Kenyans have a right to stop you Kenya cannot be ruled in a manner that is not prescribed in the constitution. Wa Kenya walipigania hii katiba mpya. Na hii katiba mpya ndio kinga ya wa Kenya. Mtu asikuja kundanganya wewe wewe ni mimi ndugu yako. Mimi ni kabila yako. Ndugu wa tumbo moja hapana. Kitu muhimu zaidi ambayo itatetea wewe ni katiba na wakianza kujaribu kubadilisha katiba hapa na pale hapa na pale ndivyo ilifanyika baada ya uhuru ndio utakaoenda katika ile shimo kubwa zaidi hatutaki kurudi huko tena kwa hivyo tumesema mtu yeyote ambaye anataka kufanya vile sisi hatutaki kama wa Kenya tutakataa mko tayari Kenya mko tayari mko tayari na mimi najua ndugu yangu huyo sifuna angekataa na mimi. Na mimi nasema sasa because hili tufuna aende alale kule vizuri pamoja na watinji. Shida mwingine. Ni kwa kinga. Ni jeu sisi wanaona.